Oklahoma State has a proud football history that includes 13 bowl appearances, a Heisman Trophy winner, 25 All-Americans, including six who earned that honor twice, league championships, and a long list of all-conference selections. Victories in the 1945 Cotton Bowl and 46 Sugar set the tone for nine wins in those 13 bowl games. A huge victory in Norman two years ago set the stage for the current Cowboys' success. Back in 1988, Oklahoma State battled Wyoming in the Holiday Bowl with a high-powered offense fueling OSU's 62-14 win. It's the Cowboys and the Cowboys next. Welcome to Stillwater. It's time for the Oklahoma State Home Opener 2003. The grill's cooking. It's a beautiful evening for college football here at OSU. Young and old are all geared up tonight at Boone Pickens Stadium on the campus of Oklahoma State. The Wyoming Cowboys battle the Big 12's Oklahoma State Cowboys here on Fox Sports Net. Hi everyone, Bill Land along with Gary Reasons. Glad to have you aboard. You look at that old video, Gary, 15 years ago in the Holiday Bowl. These teams have gone a couple different ways since then. OSU had the triplets then. Well, they've got three more triplets this year they're mighty proud of. Yeah, they returned the top three performers in positions to the Big 12 Conference and running back Tatum Bell, Josh Fields, the quarterback, and Rashawn Woods. These three players, I tell you, the last four games of 2002, just tremendous the production they put on the field. They run that offense. I think Tatum Bell became a down in, down out back, really powerful. Josh Fields, just a competitive quarterback, and I think he's got the guts to play that position. And Rashawn Woods, your all everything receiver, should be a big night for them here against Wyoming. You know they want to get it untracked after the disappointing loss to Nebraska last week in Big 12 play. Now on the other side for Wyoming, two and ten a year ago, new head coach, a ball club though that feels pretty good about itself offensively, particularly, they got a guy that could throw it a bit. Well, Joe Glenn, the new head coach there, brought in a new system, new offense. They do throw the ball. They're going to throw it 60% of the time. Casey Brown, he is going to be their senior quarterback, the leader this year, and he's got some big receivers to throw to also. They got a couple of guys, all conference performers coming in. Ryan McGuffey, the returning leader in the conference. Malcolm Floyd, 6'6 target. Should be fun to watch those guys throw the ball around, Bill. All right, there's the offense, but yes, there is plenty of defense as well, particularly in the OSU side. Let's go down to the sideline and John Radigan for more on that. Obviously, the offense didn't do what it wanted to do as much as it did last week, but the defense, the defense did a pretty nice job against Nebraska. They held the Nebraska Cornhuskers to just 78 yards passing. There will be pressure on the defense again this week. Of course, Nebraska is not trying to pass the football, and we all know that. They rushed for 268 yards, but the Cowboys defense, the Oklahoma State Cowboys, did a nice job stopping Nebraska three times inside the 15-yard line. One of the great jobs done on run support was done by the safety, the weak side safety, Albert Craig, and he will be tested again today. Albert, last week with 11 tackles, one for a loss of six yards, and Albert Craig and the rest of that defensive backfield will be tested again this week because the Wyoming Cowboys love to throw the football. 30 to 35 times a game, they will throw the football. That defensive backfield will be tested here in the first game, the home opener in the brand new Boone Pickens Stadium on the campus of Oklahoma State. We will be back here for the kickoff and the start of tonight's game right after this. Welcome back to Boone Pickens Stadium at Oklahoma State. Cowboys home opener against the Wyoming Cowboys. Bill and Gary Reasons and John Radigan with you. New head coach Joe Glenn ready to kick it off here for Wyoming. Guy has been a part of three national championships at under the Division I level. And Les Miles has done a terrific job beginning his third year here at OSU after last year's 8-5 and five campaign earned him Big 12 Coach of the Year honors. And the Pokes starting off the season with a tough 10-point loss at Nebraska. Farden kicks it off. Wyoming in the end zone, and they will down it there as Javon Bonight also doubles as a wide receiver, says he'll take the touchback and bring it out to 
the 20 yard line. Casey Bramlett will bring him on a senior from Wheatland Wyoming 6'4 225 pounds. And yeah he throws it but career wise he's been picked off 39 times to 35 touchdown passes. Well the system bill this offense is a little bit different than what he played in the last three years. This one's a little more of a shorter get the ball out very quickly. You know, he should be able to make quick accurate passes. Arma is the lone back. Man in motion is McGuffey. First and ten for Wyoming. And the pass is blocked right from the get go. Breaking through. <laughs> Antonio Smith from the end spot. Let's take a look at the offense for Wyoming. There are the backs and receivers. McGuffey and Floyd, the two best of the bunch, but Bonite also has all conference potential. We'll take a look at the Cowboy defense in just a moment as Antonio Smith already introduced himself. Second and 10 from the 20. Bramlett back to throw in trouble and it is incomplete. And once again, Antonio Smith putting the pressure all over Bramlett. And doing it with four down linemen rushing the pass at that time. Antonio Smith was on the left side for the first play and lined up on the right side to get going that time. Good job getting in the backfield of Wyoming. And defensively for the Cowboys, OSU played very well last week. This is the Wyoming defensive front. We'll take a look at them as hopefully they'll be taking the field here in just a moment. We'll get back to it in just a moment. And Bramlett trying to change the play. Certainly have to do it with hand signals, Gary, with this loud crowd here. Third and ten, Wyoming. And it is incomplete, nearly picked off. Carter was there, and Oklahoma State has forced Wyoming into a three and out situation. Well, that's what you want to do for Oklahoma State. Come home to your home field, get rallied up there, put your defense on the field first, do a good job, put some pressure on the quarterback, force a three and out situation. Set for the Cowboy return. Number 11. Donovan to kick it away. Donovan, 42.9 last week, or the last year, and last week, 44.7 on seven punts in their victory over Montana State. Gabe Lindsay, the lone return man. Flag is thrown. He gets across the 50 before he is tripped up. Flag down on the return. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a look here at the penalty situation. Yeah, probably an illegal block here right near the, the punt returner. It's going to take him back. It's going to be a holding, I think, yeah. So that 15-yard return is going to be nullified as penalty, the hold call foul. against Oklahoma First State. Down. I tell you, a great field position to take over for this offense. That's what you want to do, but uh, you're going to be inside your 40-yard line now. Would have been up past midfield, but still, this is an opportunity, I think, to Oklahoma State Bill, they like to throw the ball deep, so I would expect Josh Fields and company to come out there and maybe make a big play early. Josh, last year, the 13 games, 55% completion rate and 3,145 yards passing. 31 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. But against Nebraska, 13 of 28 for 97, one score, had three picked. Lindsey, out of bounds, almost got the first down. Momentum was carrying him toward the Wyoming sideline, but he balanced it there to the 45-yard line. Finn, one of the safeties, made the tackle. Offensively up front, the Cowboys with Hardison, Aiken, Bowie, Mays, and Davis. Mays, one of the all-conference honorable mention picks from a year ago. Bell Woods and Dewan Woods, who they really like his progress here. Devereaux and Bajima, as far as the receivers to keep an eye on. Again, Lindsey. He's got the first down on a second down and short. Dances across the 50 to the 49 of Wyoming. Tool making the tackle. Guy Tool out of Yuma, Colorado. A couple of slip screens, screens early to Lindsay outside. Very easy completions. Good throws for, for Josh Fields to get started. So the Cowboys will have it first and 10. Well, obviously, it's the Cowboys. We'll He's stepping on that all night, I'm sure, as it's first and 10 at 49. And incomplete. I think we found the play of the week, Bill. Slip screen. Yep. <laughs> it certainly identified that. Wyoming defensively 
coming in giving up 10 points last week and Flora Bondi Morris and Casavan the front four linebackers tool Sharner and Gottschalk they like them all the strength of this team according to coach Glenn and then Dixon McNeil Finn and Jackson in the secondary they got five turnovers from Montana State last week Oklahoma State on the other hand turned it over five times against Nebraska right up the gut nothing doing Tatum Bell Tatum 23 carries 87 yards for 3.8 average in the opener at Nebraska last week Bill, yeah, the Oklahoma State seeing a kind of a new defense this, this week. A little zone blitz team. They're going to move their front that time. That time they had a slant. Somebody missed a block up front. Got pressure in the backfield early on Tatum Bell. So one of the things they wanted to come in this week and improve upon was their execution. Offensively running the football, pass protection. They didn't feel like they executed with the, how they needed to, obviously, last week against Nebraska to win that football game. Out of the shotgun this time. Fields. Going deep for Woods. And a flag is thrown inside the five yard line. One pass downfield for Roderick Jackson trying to cover a senior out of conference code, Texas. Well, he did the smart thing if you're a corner and you're someone out there with Rashawn Woods who's going to get a touchdown. Decent protection here. Look at the long time that Josh Fields has to set and throw. He gets his feet underneath him, steps up in the pocket nicely. A little bump there at the end. Then you see Rashawn Woods, he's wide open. And then, yeah, Jackson right over the top. That's definitely a penalty. Good situation to do that, though, if you're a defender and you know you're beat for the touchdown. 13.37 to go here in the first quarter. Oklahoma State holding Wyoming. Three and out. Now coming back, and the penalty has set the Cowboys. First and ten. The mark off. First down and ten. OSU at the 32 of Wyoming. Wyoming. 32. Timeout. Mm. Having to call a timeout. Oklahoma State. First timeout. Not set on the offensive timeout. line, Bill. They're shifting Oklahoma their tight State. ends, and Josh Field steps up and doesn't like what he sees. So the Cowboys. Take the timeout rather than risk the penalty there with the clock winding down. We'll take a brief timeout. No score. 13.37 to go here. First quarter. Pistol Pete and Oklahoma State, the home opener for OSU as they come in 0 and 1. They've won their last seven home openers. Last year beating Northern Iowa. Last year started similar, though they lost in the road Louisiana Tech in a game they really felt they should have won. This year, of course, they open up Big 12 play at Nebraska, and now got a chance with a schedule that is certainly a little bit softer after that to pick up some W, some confidence, get this offense going, and be ready when they return to Big 12 play against Kansas State. Cowboys. Following the timeout, first and ten at the 32-yard line. Bell knocked out of bounds inside the 10 at the nine yard line. Tatum Bell, simple pitch and a sweep. And a good block made on the play by Lindsay getting out front to help spring it. Now watch on the right side of your screen there. You're going to see Badgham on number 86 kind of shuffle across and watch him win the corner and pin the defensive end in. That's what set Tatum Bell out there. And then Lindsay, as you said, Bill, at the bottom of the screen, getting a good block, and Tatum Bell impeded to the touchdown, or excuse me, the five-yard line. Good job that time getting perimeter blocking and also sealing him inside. 23-yard pickup, and it's first and goal from the nine. Incomplete. Looking for Woods in the end zone as Fields had it knocked away. Not a smart play by Josh Fields. Tried to stuff that one in there to uh, Rashawn Woods. That's a favorite play for this offense. Run that little boot pass, and you got your choice receiver underneath the fullback, or you got Rashawn or one of the wide receivers up and outside. And Josh Fields, he needs to throw this ball away or tuck it down and run it. This is not a ball you want to throw in there. You see the defensive bracket on Rashawn back there, and that's not a good decision. Finn with a deflection. Yeah, Mike Gundy, offensive coordinator, saying Josh Fields has got to let the game come to him a little bit more. Don't force it. That's what he did such a great job of last year. Second and goal from the nine. Hands it off to Bell. Bell down 
inside the six yard line picks up three and it'll be third and goal coming up for OSU. One of the things that's unique this year for Oklahoma State is we've got a couple of new tackles playing out there. Left tackle number 57, Matt Hardison, and the right tackle, Kellen Davis, number 78. Both of them started their first college game a week ago at the tackle position against Nebraska, and that's a tough one to go at. And coming here for their home opener, they definitely want to play better. Sharner made the stop that time. Third and goal from the six-yard line. Bell, the lone back behind Fields. Fields. Incomplete, just off the hands of the intended receiver, Charlie Johnson. Johnson, last year, eight receptions, 109 yards, and two scores. Well, I think one of the things happened on that play, Bill, is he's looking right back in the sun. You see the long shadows as Josh Field sets and throws. His receiver's looking right back into the western sun. I'm not sure he even saw that football. Yeah, the 6 o'clock start time. Certainly he's put that on him. Here is Luke Phillips coming on for the field goal attempt. And... Sets up at the 13, a 23-yard attempt. And Phillips hits on this one. Senior out of Tulsa, third-team all-conference pick a year ago. And Luke Phillips puts the Oklahoma State Cowboys on the board first. It is 3-0 with 12.40 to go in the first quarter here at Boone Pickens Stadium. Welcome back, Oklahoma State. Got this place jumping with Gabe Lindsay's 55-yard punt return for a touchdown. Last year, he turned 10 punts for 190 yards. And certainly a great run here. And the Cowboys now lead it 10-0 with 2.49 to go first quarter. Pretty, pretty play. Cuts it all the way across the field to get the score. And it shows that he's got great vision of the field. A couple of plays early in this ball game, a couple of passes quickly on offense to Gabe Lindsay, so he's been productive here for Oklahoma State. Well, special teams always big, but Gary, it, it seems particularly in the early part of the season because you just can't work on everything, and it seems like teams, we see more big special teams plays earlier in the year that can break games open. There's no doubt about that. When you make a big play in special teams, it would really softens up the other team that you're playing against and uh, changes the momentum in a big way. And once again, this ball is booted out. And it'll be a touchback, bring it out to the 20-yard line. So nicely done again that time by Oklahoma State in the kicking game with Cole Farden. Yeah, watch it behind the Gabe Lindsay here. See what he sees as he runs the ball back. He sees a, a wall set up there, a little, little quick step there, and then he cuts it back across the field. Watch a quick decision here to run outside. And then he says, hey, I'm tired. I won't be able to get it in there. So just cut back and go in and score. Good job, guys. That's a nice picture. Lindsay, of course, the younger brother of Tony Lindsay, the former OSU quarterback. And here's Bramlett's work tonight. One of ten in the passing game. And incomplete here at the 30-yard line. Once That's again, looking for McGuffey. Well, he's got to be a little skittish, too, after he had his cage rattled a few times. Yeah, Casey Bramlett's having a tough night. He's got a good, tough defense he's facing here and trying to get in sync. And... You know, if he doesn't fare well, we may see another Bramlett. His brother, his younger brother, just a sophomore, who might get a chance to play in this game. But uh, I know they're hanging their hat on, uh, on Casey to have a good senior campaign. And he's just got to get in sync. And I think the running game will help them set up some passes for him. There's Corey as he looks on. Second down and 10. Bramlett breaks from the pocket. Got a man. And it is complete to Floyd. And gets it across midfield as Malcolm Floyd comes up with the reception. The senior from Sacramento. And 34 yards on the pass play. And that's got to give him a little Well, watch boost Casey for the step up here, Bill. He does a good job of getting out of the pressure, getting his feet under him, and throwing the ball out there to Floyd. Big, tall receiver, good target. And that's a big play for them getting out of their end zone. First time crossing midfield. Beat Robert Jones on the play, the cornerback for OSU. And it's now first and 10, Wyoming at the 46 of the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Trips to the right side for Bramlett. And overthrows the man out of the backfield. 
Missed Dustin Pleasant trying to get it to him. The wide receiver out there on the slip screen and Casey Brown will let that one sail. Dustin Pleasant, the intended receiver. Sophomore from Temple, Texas. But it's not as bad as Oklahoma State, the home opener here tonight. Cowboys will have Southwest Missouri next week and then at SMU and then University of Louisiana Lafayette before they get back to Big 12 play. They're wearing with the nose guard now for Oklahoma State trying to apply more pressure and Cowboys showing the blitz. Let's see if they back off or not as Bramlett in trouble. Unloads and incomplete going down the middle to Chris Cox. Cox is a junior from Tulsa. 6'7, 250. And just that Casey Brown can get this ball off is amazing because he has Oklahoma State Cowboys draped all over him, but he had a tight end open in the middle of the field. Watch the pressure break down here. You bring him inside, you bring him on the outside. There's just not enough guys to block him, and Casey Brown throws it out there nicely but uh, doesn't get the completion. Got a Carter was there that was all over him, draping himself on Bramlett. So third and ten at the OSU 46 for Wyoming. Ten nothing Oklahoma State. A Phillips field goal and a Lindsay 55 yard punt return. The points tonight. Flags everywhere and they'll hold up the play. And they're going to have a false start here. I think Big Johnson there on the left side, the tackle. False start. Got moving a little bit early. Offense. Season opener, Joe Glenn's club, four penalties, 25 yards, and Les Miles on the other side, on OSU, had eight penalties for 63 yards at Nebraska. Joe Glenn, three-time National Coach of the Year. You know, Wyoming's had a lot of great coaches, but most of them haven't stayed. They moved on. And he likens himself, though, back to Bob Devaney, who got a start there. And Glenn grew up in, North, in Nebraska, and he said, I'm an old hay shaker for a long time, and I love it out here on the front range and in the west. And he has really fit in well with the Wyoming crowd. Bramlin in trouble again and sacked again at the 40-yard line, and the OSU defense is just dominating. Thompson on the sack. Jamie, a junior. Loss of nine. Well, Jamie actually just has coverage on the running back, and he stays in the block, so he picks him up and says, hey, I'm going to go in there and get a running, get my, get my, the quarterback because my guy blocked. It's called a hug technique. Watch the coverage outside. Everyone's taken away here, and it's exactly what you need to do. And get you guys rushing up front. Things are working well for the Cowboys' defense. Donovan, a sky-high punt, hits the 10 and then deadens. Well done by Wyoming on the special teams that time as it puts Oklahoma State in its own three-yard line on a 58-yard kick from Luke Donovan. Yard. He's a senior out of Spearfish, South Dakota, one of Gary's favorite towns. <laughs> He's up for the Ray Guy Award and, of course, was a former Wyoming punter. Ray Guy, could he boom him? Oh, yeah, he could boom him. A couple of good punters in his football game. Yeah, no doubt about that, both of them. They've done well. Oklahoma State. Well, it's, I think, Gary, been somewhat like last week, except for Oklahoma State hasn't turned it over. Offense still struggling finding itself. Defense has been fine. And, of course, the special teams play. They gave them their only touchdown. Josh Fields has him first and ten. Throwing from his own one-yard line, and it is complete inside the 50. And Rashawn Woods complete. Comes up with the big play. Dixon trying to cover. You get him one on one. You just got to get him the same zip code. It's tough to cover that young man outside, man to man. It's play action pass, the play action fake here. Josh Field sets his feet and just throws it as far as he can to Rashawn Woods, who likes that outside position. He does a good job. I think he pushes off just a little bit there to get that separation he needed to make that grab. But nonetheless, a good throw by Josh Field, throwing it deep and outside and let Rashawn Woods go up and catch the ball. 51 yards on the pass play for Rashawn Woods. Second reception, but his first was a minus three yards. Here's Tatum Bell. You want that hard running? Got a little bit of an opening and then made the most of it as he picked up a first down on that carry to the 30-yard line of Wyoming. Well, this is what Mike Gundy wants to see from his tailback. Make people miss in the hole. Watch his cuts in the hole. Tatum Bell cut left, cut right. Watch him cut away here. Good job breaking the tackles. That's more like Tatum Bell of a year ago. 
Bell coming in number 10 on the career charts at 2,123 in the rushing game. And they pitch it to him again. Bell, 25, 20, and knocked out of bounds by Jay McNeil, a junior from Tallahassee, Florida. Good block out front by Sean Willis, the fullback. Springs Tatum Bell to the outside. They win the corner, move the chains once again. First down, run the football. See what Tatum Bell sees here. You got your big fullback making a block out front. You'll see 37 Willis taking him down to the ground there. That's what you want from your fullback. And then Tatum Bell delivering a little blow there also. Bell, eight carries, 70 yards. First and 10 at the 18 of Wyoming. Inside a minute to go, first quarter here in Stillwater. Bell sets up on the near sideline now. Pass complete at the 15, at the 10, and inside. DeJuan Woods. DeJuan Woods. And DeJuan Woods on the slip screen does a good job here, and he sets up a nice block. That's what I like on the play here, Bill. DeJuan, number 84, you're going to see the slip screen go out to him here. Josh Fields going to toss it out to him. And watch the, the defensive linebacker trying to make the play here. He sets him up and says, hey, slow down, go back. Let my guard come out and take care of him. And he misses him altogether. And run behind the blockers. It's a good job by a young redshirt freshman receiver. The Wyoming seven-yard line. And Dewan Woods gives them a first and goal at the seven. Fields. They were pump fake. Looking for Rashawn Woods in the end zone. Flag. That's an incomplete. Flag. On the trying to get separation again. On Rashawn the Woods on the outside. And actually, both players are pushing on each other. And I'm sure the defender is saying, hey, he pushed on me. That's Jackson who had coverage on him out there. Defense in the end zone. First down, two yard line. And it's called against Jackson of Wyoming. Watch the ISO here. Rashawn Woods holding stop and go and going to work back to the end zone. You see your quarterback work out there. Then Jackson just faces him up and pushes him. Two hands on him. That's probably that's a better play for the cornerback than giving up a sure touchdown. That's twice at penalties now with Jackson. He sees he's getting beat by Rashawn Woods and he elects to take the penalty instead of the score. Timeout. Tough choice, but Wyoming. don't give him the points. Timeout is called with 22 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Bill, we talked about big plays in this offense. That's yeah, what the Cowboys do. Day. Oklahoma State Cowboys do with their offense. They're able to make big plays. The play action pass to Woods coming down here, setting things up, and, and then Tatum Bell getting a couple good runs on the ground, getting first downs, and now you're knocking on the door and have a chance to throw it in the end zone. And well, Oklahoma State such high hopes this year after last year's eight and five record and Les Miles in his third year here but he got everybody's attention when Oklahoma State was able to beat OU not once but twice in back to back wins and winning in Norman in a game that just shocked about everybody in his first year here and then coming back and winning again here last year. Put the Cowboys back on the football map. I tell you, it's turned and it's turned really fast here at Oklahoma State. Les Miles and what he has done with this program has really been tremendous over the last couple of years. And here in 2003, they're expecting big things. They've got returning powerhouses on offense, defense, a couple of question marks still. When you lose a Kevin Williams up front, their defensive tackle who went to the NFL as a first round draft pick, that's hard to replace. But Josh Fields, Tatum Bell, and Rashawn Woods offensively, they think that if they build momentum and those younger players on defense come together, this could be a special football team. Cowboys trying to punch it in again, and they do. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Willis with the score, Sean Willis, a sophomore, and he gets his first OSU touchdown. This is a guy that has been moved back and forth from offense to defense, from defensive end to fullback. Kind of likes that scoring action. Nothing wrong with that. You block a lot in this offense for your tailback and get a chance to carry the football for a score. That's a, it's a nice reward. And the Cowboys get their third score of the first quarter. Phillips is on for the PAT. 
And bangs this one through. He was 55 of 56 last year and hit all 27 the year before. Now watch your center number 56, Bowie. Just clean things out there. Get the pile moving. Get behind your right guard. That's Sam Mays, big 76. And nice, easy score there for Oklahoma State. They just manhandled the Wyoming defensive front there. Watch the white shirts moving backwards as the orange ones just take over. And Willis with the touchdown, the point after good. Oklahoma State 17, Wyoming nothing here with seconds remaining in the first quarter. Well, it's been kind of a long quarter for Joe Glenn and his football team coming out here from Wyoming to, to Stillwater. Not the way they want to start this football game. They need to stay in it and be close, give themselves a chance to win. He said, hey, I asked him yesterday when I talked to him on the practice field, say, Coach Glenn, what, do you, what would you like to have happen? He said, hey, stay, play good defense, stay close, and possibly win it in the fourth quarter. Giving up 17 here early on is, is not the way you're going to get them accomplished. And Oklahoma State mixing the run and the pass on that particular drive, and the big play, 51 yards to Rashawn Woods, and then Willis for the two-yard touchdown run. Bonite and Jones are deep for Wyoming. Harden tries to kick another one out of the end zone and does. Touchback once again for Cole Harden and, and the Cowboys. Tell you what, not a lot of room in the sidelines here. Our John Radigan's down there to prove it to you. Yeah, no kidding. It was unbelievable. Rashawn Woods, you know, momentum carried him right into this wall. That's because there's really only one, two, three, four paces between the end zone and the wall here. It was not anything other than momentum that carried him right into the wall. This is about the smallest space for sidelines anywhere in the Big 12. It's a tight sideline, which makes it a little tougher for a sideline reporter, guys. <laughs> you got to keep those on. feet moving, big guy. That's right. Good job. The reason they have the pads there on those walls, they're cognizant of the situation there for those players running out of bounds. I'm glad they've got that uh, sidewall padded. First to 10 for Wyoming. And they run some people back and forth and then just hand it off right up the middle to Derek Arma. A fake reverse that time and hand it off inside. Thinking the defensive speed and the flow of Oklahoma State's going to go with that, but uh, good job up front. Lawrence well, Pinson makes the tackle. Sophomore from Jinx, Oklahoma. That ends the first quarter. That's the end of the first quarter. Wyoming will try to regroup as OSU slowly put it together and finishing very strong. And we'll take a timeout as well on Fox Sports Net with a 17-0 Oklahoma State. We move to the second quarter here in Stillwater. Oklahoma State 17-0. Total offense, 162 for the Cowboys to 45 for Wyoming. Wyoming actually with three more plays, 24 to 21. But boy, the pressure defensively that OSU has put on Wyoming has really been fierce. Well, Bill Clay's defense has done a good job, but I think the big story coming in here is the big three for Oklahoma State. Offensively, you've got your quarterback, Josh Fields, getting in sync with his go-to guy, Rashawn Woods, and Tatum Bell running the football. Their offense kind of got in gear in the late in the first quarter, and uh, I think things bode well for Oklahoma State. Now Wyoming on offense, they've got to get something going here, Bill. They haven't uh, had anything to speak of positive happen for them. So they need to come out here and establish something offensively. Run of the football, a little play action pass, and get Casey Brown to set it settle down. So OSU, defensive group out with a second down for Wyoming. And they go to Arma out of the backfield. He's to the 30, got the first down, and to the 33-plus yard line. A good little slip pass out there to him and just run outside. No one covers him out of the backfield. Surprising because it was man coverage downfield. Good job that time by Wyoming making a play. You see the blitz and the pressure there. No one out there to cover him. Take a look here in the block inside on Duran, and he's trying to make the tackle. But that's a good that's a good play that time for Wyoming. Get a little confidence built. Bramlett now 3 of 15 for 44 yards. He had that 34-yarder to Floyd earlier. And that opens up things right as the running game and Arma again, and he's to the 39-yard line. Well, that's a first down, five-yard rush play. That's a pretty good play up front for them. 83, Kyle Hicks. Pinson on Hicks on the tackle. Kyle Hicks, sophomore from Ardmore, Oklahoma. Arma takes a breather. Second and five at the 39. Yeah. 
Bramlett going on the sideline and incomplete and a flag is thrown there as they try to get to Malcolm Floyd covering on the play That's for the Oklahoma State Malcolm Daniel McLemore. Yeah, they're going to call McLemore for the Floyd. interference. He impedes the, the receiver from going to the football. If he had looked back for the ball, he'd have been okay, but I think he got into his body, and that's what they're going to call. Defense, 15 yards, first down. You heard it on the defense, 15 yards, first and 10 for Wyoming. And you see his body turned in there. It doesn't allow the receiver to go to the football, and that's the penalty. It's a good call. Well, Floyd is 6'6", Gary, and Macklemore's 5'7". Five, five, <laughs> we're, we're talking about what, what are your options in that deal? <laughs> You aren't going to grow, not tonight at least. He says, Coach, give me a little help out there. <laughs> Put some spring in my shoes. 13.53 to go here in the first half. Ball nearly picked off by a couple of Cowboys. And Williams had a great bait break. Darren Williams, yeah. number nine, on the cornerback. From the cornerback spot coming up. Almost had him one there. Good anticipation. He saw the slant route coming. Take a look on the left side of your screen. You're going to see the, the slant pattern thrown there. And Darren Williams, number nine, step in front of it. Almost took one to the house. Now, that might have been Thompson who came back on the dive to try to get it after it was knocked away. Second and 10 for Wyoming. The 46 of Oklahoma State trailing 17 to nothing. Bramlett hands it off to Harrison, and Harrison darts across the 40 all the way down to the 37-yard line on his first carry. Robert Jones makes the tackle. Ivan Harris, who's a redshirt freshman, Kansas City, Kansas. A little shiftier, a little quicker than Arma coming through there. He's only 5'7", about 175 pounds, but he's got quick feet and does a good job on the draw play. for measurement, a couple of scores to pass along. A final bowling game, green 27, Purdue 26. 13.42 to go here. 16, UCLA 14. Yeah, the quarter. first down. I mean, the announcement in the background is Colorado's beaten UCLA. So uh, Gary Barnett facing that backbreaker of the schedule, Gary. And with a huge win over Colorado State, that's been the bugaboo for him. That was last week, and now a two-point win over UCLA. And they've always typically on, uh, under Gary Barnett, they kind of started slow out there, and uh, they've, they've the changed Cowboys some things around, six. obviously, and getting it going the right way. Oklahoma State trying to get its first win of the year in its home opener tonight and up 17-0. First down on that last play and Bramlett going deep here. He wants six and it is incomplete. McGuffey again, the intended receiver. Also crossed patterns there though. Uh, Mc Ryan McGuffey was open. The quarterback just kind of underthrew him. If he had laid it, laid it out there to Ryan McGuffey, he gets behind Williams here. A little stop and go now. You see Williams trying to catch up. If the ball's laid out in front of him, I think he might make this catch, but the ball's underthrown. Gives Darren Williams a chance to come back and make a nice recovery. Bo Knight was the other receiver in the vicinity there, but you're right, Gary. If that ball had been thrown right where he wanted it, he'd have had six. The Cowboys have put so much pressure on Bramlett. That's easier said than done. And it's second down now and 10 for the Wyoming quarterback. Yet again, got this one complete to Bonight at the 31 yard line, but he is rocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by number nine, Darren Williams after Williams covering on the play. Darren, junior out of Fort Worth, Texas. A little out pattern here. He sets him up, pushes him off, and go outside. Ball's delivered on time. Pretty good throw that time. Darren Williams at cornerback. I tell you, I think he's got a good break on the ball. He's in zone coverage that time, giving up the short underneath the zone. But number nine shows that he can break on the football. Down and five, Almost had an interception the a few plays ago. Bramlett wants a timeout. Mike Williams is the one that bumped him pretty good. That was a nice completion that he took under pressure. And we'll take a break as well here in Stillwater. Boone Pickham Stadium, the site. Home opener, OSU 17 0 leader. Seventeen nothing Oklahoma State at Boone Pickens Stadium and more about the new name and the rededication here at Oklahoma State at halftime tonight. Bill Landry reaches John Radigan with you as the Cowboys of OSU marching it starting on their own two yard line and Willis carrying the football here tackled by McNeil Willis has a touchdown for OSU as well tonight. 
Well, you'll see it here as they throw the ball outside. That inside running game opens up. Sean Willis that time getting the carry, and you've seen Seymour Shaw come in and get him a couple of couple of carries along with Tatum Bell. So they want to get that blend of running and play action pass working for these Cowboys. Second down and four for Oklahoma State at the 39 of Wyoming. Fields, long count. Oh my! Hit hard at the line and talk about taking a hit and keep on ticking. Number two, Seymour Shaw. As Shaw hit hard by Casavan and just said, "Okay, I'm fine. Are you done?" Well, Mike Gundy wanted to break some tackles and look at here at Shaw. He breaks a little tackle there. Casavan has him dead in the backfield and just runs right on through it and then gets a good yard, some good yardage there in the hole. And it's an excellent job there by the young running back Shaw, breaking a tackle and getting some yardage. Casavan had him. He squirmed loose, and then Dixon finally made the tackle. And the player is down for Wyoming. 11.08 to go here in the first half. Dixon being helped up and hopefully all right out of Jackson Mississippi went to Heinz Community College down in Mississippi and an interception last week for Wyoming. And he's one of the leaders in that secondary back there had an interception a week ago and went low on that tackle and looks like he's getting up moving around okay Bill. Well Joe Glenn's defensive coordinator Mike Bresky said they were going to play 22 to 24 guys with the blitz packages that they throw out there so this is a ball club that as they come along and adapt to the new coaching system and depth becomes a plus for them which it is not right now it might be something to contend with I was playing the Mountain West Conference and going against the Big 12 gentlemen, tonight turn your attention to the field it's time for the Cowboy Passport to great travel destinations in Oklahoma one of the Patrick keys and Les Miles will tell you this we talk about coaches Greg Lamb brought most of his staff with him from Montana Gary and that's one of the things that I think almost any coach and both these tonight have told us that has given their programs a chance is that you have continuity within your coaches Les Miles able to keep Mike Gundy when a lot of people including Nebraska are after him as offensive coordinator you have that kind of stability here it just reeks of the Keeping this program going upward. Mm -hmm. Also in the Big 12 this year, Dennis Francione at Texas A&M bringing almost his entire staff with him from, from Alabama. So, you know, that's the way of the way of new coaches coming into the system. They want to bring people that they're comfortable with, and certainly Les Miles has done it here. And talk about Joe up at Wyoming. So those that's the way they'd like to do it, and it helps develop a program and do it a lot faster. Great travel destination from TravelOK.com. First and 10, ball at the 30 yard line. Fields, plenty of time. Incomplete, nearly picked off, wanted Badjama the tight end. Cowboy tight end. You know, play action pass, and Badjama trying to work up the seam, got man to man coverage, and he's actually being held on the play. Josh Fields tries to stick it in there anyway. Almost a good one handed grab. Take a look here as he comes off the line of scrimmage, and Badjama wants the big right hand, almost pulls it in. Fields is 9 of 17 for 139 yards. And Bramlett, 4 of 18 for 49 yards in the passing game. The two quarterbacks' numbers so far tonight. And it's second down and 10 at the 30 of Wyoming. Shaw. Give it number two, Seymour Shaw. Couple of tough yards, the 27 yard line. Junior out of Shawnee, Oklahoma. Stopped by Casavan. Gave him about four. Third down, upcoming. See the field now completely shaded as Wyoming sets up defensively. The Oklahoma State drive has only taken 239 to go 71 yards. Third and seven from the 27. Fields again, good protection and complete for a first down at the 17 yard line with Sean Woods. Marked it at the 15 where Jackson made the stop. Look at so much timing right there that these two have developed over the last few years. And Sean Woods and Josh Fields 
just getting it clicking once again. 28 career touchdowns for Rashawn, and we'd like to have another one here. Good job of just pushing back, getting past the first yard down yardage, and then coming back to the quarterback and working to the outside. Good throw that time by Josh Fields, and, and Jackson's got his work cut out for him tonight. He's drawn Sean Woods as an assignment. Six catches, 109 yards for Rashawn Woods, his 15th career 100-plus yard receiving game. Now they hand it off on the end of round and to the 15, and then out of bounds. They're going to mark it around the 13-yard line as Devereaux turning the ball. Devereaux's a guy that Mike Gundy's excited about. He's got from Duncanville, Texas. It feels like he's got a lot of speed, one of the faster Young players on his football team want to get him in the ball game. You see him on the reverse here coming around, and Devereaux, if he can get the corner, you know, they feel like he's got a chance to make a big play. Tommy Devereaux. Kind of a late hit there out of bounds. Second and eight, ball at the 14 yard line. Shaw in motion to the top of your screen. Willis scoots right into the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma State. Sean Willis, second score of the night. Yes, the old 14 dive play, get it to your full back off the right side, and he runs right through the strong safety, Jay McNeil, number four, who's going to come up. You see him break through the hole. No one's going to touch until number four, McNeil, has a chance. He goes low, but the big fullback runs right through it. Well, Willis, his second TD of the night, and before Phillips can signal things for the point after, whistle halts play. Now they'll reset here. Oklahoma State got it going here with 9.31 to go in the second quarter. A 98 yard drive. That's got to bring a smile to the face of Wes Miles. And the kick is up and good. It's 24 to nothing. Oklahoma State over Wyoming. Watch out. John Radigan's at that cannon. He'll be back. Oklahoma State on a 13 yard touchdown run by Willis. Bumps it to 24 0. And as the Cowboys get ready to kick it off, we'll keep an eye on our sideline man, as, and they all should here at this stadium. Uh-oh, he's got a trigger John in his hand. Radigan ready to fire that cannon. And thank goodness he's been properly supervised. <laughs> Bo Knight and Jones to return it here. Oklahoma State, 24, Wyoming nothing. See now why the Cowboys were in the preseason top 25. They got bumped out after that loss to Nebraska, but they got a chance here to jump right back in. This one. Doesn't matter which direction that Farden is kicking him. Well done, John. Pulling a cap gun there, huh, big boy? Look at there. Yeah. Smoky. Good. Hey. It's a good thing I've got these ROTC guys here to help me. They do all the hard work, but now I can officially say I've fired a cannon. A World War II cannon at that. This is packy. And we've got it for your resume tape as well. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> good job, John. All right, nobody hurt. We're happy. Wyoming, first and 10 from their own 20, Casey Bramblett, who was four of 18 for 49 yards. End around to Bonite, and Bonite fooled nobody there. Cowboys, good pursuit. And the tackle on the play made by the linebacker, Patrick McGee. Also, Sinclair was there. Cowboys defense, Bill, they got pretty good speed laterally. Those linebackers, Padgett McGee doing a good job there, and Pinson inside, and Albert Craig drops down from his weak safety spot. One of the leading tacklers on the football team. Those guys move sideline to sideline very well, and it's one of the things in this conference in the Big 12. If you're going to play and play well, you've got to have speed, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Well, Oklahoma State, of course, last year, that great year, and coming into this year, everyone talking about the offense. Armand with it here, and he is stopped near the 26-yard line. Bill Clay said 
you know, I think our guys, they knew they were appreciated, but the preseason was all the OSU offense and said it was nice that our defense went up there and put out at least a good effort and kept Nebraska under control, even though they gave up more yards than they would have liked. But he really likes this defensive unit, thinks that when they get a little tougher in the middle and some experience there, they're going to be quite a ball club. You get good speed on defense. You've got some younger players inside in the mix. So when you get production out of them, the defensive tackle spots, and they're trying to develop that right now. Third and five from the 25, and Bramlett to throw. In trouble again, and stumbling and falls to the 15. And Oklahoma State has held again as Fountain was in on the play. Marque Fountain putting the pressure on him. And it's been a long, long half, but we still got 7.48 to go for Casey Bramlett. Well, Antonio Smith trying to get to the quarterback, and he grabs his right foot, but I think he actually trips over himself. Watch the right side of your screen, number 91 in the orange. You'll see him get to the quarterback late. He's stumbling as he gets to him. He gets hit on the left side, but he pulls the quarterback's leg, which gets him to the ground, but uh, Smith is down on the ground, and the trainers are taking a look at him. Antonio Smith, honorable mention all conference from a year ago, got tangled up in there. You know, he was reaching out, Bill, and he's kind of in a vulnerable position. Took a shot right on his leg. Senior from Oklahoma City John Marshall High School. Yeah, he played for this team well last year. This is yeah. his ninth start. Started seven games a year ago, and good seeing him up off the ground. Take a look at 91 at the top of your screen there. He's trying to make a play here. You see he gets clipped or gets knocked down to the ground by one of his own yeah. defensive tackles. Fountain kind of got pushed into Smith, and Smith just trying to get over it. Couldn't make it. Fourth down. Hopefully he's all right. Fourth and 15 from the 15, and Donovan stands on his own one-yard line, gets a good snap. Cowboys nearly blocked it again. And on the return at the 45, and across the 50, Darren Williams getting a chance to show his return abilities. 43-yard punt, 10-yard return for Williams, and Oklahoma State, excellent field position again. They'll have it first and 10 at the 48 of Wyoming. Tackle, when you can't win the field position game, it's going to be a long night, especially against a talented offensive football team. And the Wyoming defense is trying to find some answers. Mike Bresky, their defensive coordinator, told us that, hey, we're going to change up a lot of things, bring some pressure, play some zone, play some zone blitz. They're going to blitz a lot. They blitz 60% of the time on their defense. So they know they're going to bring pressure, but uh, they've got to execute. And right now, Oklahoma State has got the upper hand. Deals hands it off as Shaw to the 45 yard line. Number two, Seymour Shaw tries the left side. Picks up a couple. couple. Check that three. Shaw, four carries, eight on yards tackle. last week against Nebraska. Two, Jacob Bondi. Jacob Bondi in on the stop for this Wyoming club. But I don't think there's really anything wrong with Tatum Bell, number seven for uh, Oklahoma State, just out of the ballgame, getting Seymour Shaw a chance to get some reps at the tailback spot. And, He's watching comfortably from the sidelines. Did his damage in the first quarter. Second and seven at the 45. Willis, the man in motion. Shaw plugs away on that right side. Good push from the group up front to the 39-yard line. Straight ahead, number two, Seymour Shaw on the carry. It'll be third and short coming up for Eight OSU. Casavan and Sharner three. making the tackle. When you push the pile, which is what Oklahoma State did here, they did an unbalanced line. They had four guys lined up to the right of the center on the line of scrimmage. They just pushed the pile against Oklahoma, excuse me, against Wyoming. And good yardage that time. Shaw getting up right in behind the big guys. Third and one, they'll call it, the 39 yard line of Wyoming. Shaw. Keeps those legs moving and one far away from breaking it for a big run. As everybody pushing up front defensively. Got the first down to 33 yard line. Got chalk, made the tackle. Senior out of Hayes, Kansas for Wyoming. A little slant counter play. Get your fullback coming in there in the hole and get right behind Willis there. And excellent job of getting that first down on short yardage. 
Bill Land, Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you here as Oklahoma State in its home opener. Rolling at 24 to nothing. And after a 98 yard drive last time, trying to go 48 yards this time. First and 10 at the 33. Fields. There's a little sidearm shot and completes it. And Tim Burrow, the receiver, running out of bounds, has got Shaw there and tied right side, up. Makes a nice pickup, though, on the play. There Tim Burrow, a senior from Moore, Oklahoma. You see Josh Fields here going to drop down. What I mean by that, watch his right arm going to drop down, throw that sidearm little, little pass there. He throws a three-quarter delivery ball anyway, Bill. It's not too, too unique for him, but uh, that one's a little lower than usual. Of course, uh, OSU fans well aware, but this may not. Two sports star here. Outstanding baseball player for Oklahoma State. Les Miles Taylor's practices in the spring around the OHU baseball schedule. This one complete. And 28 Tommy Devereaux. Devereaux again getting some action here, and that'll move the chains as Rosales makes the tackle, but it's not until the 20 yard line. A little slip screen out here to Devereaux again. He's got this play a couple of times tonight, trying to use him in his speed. I think the speed thing is really the key here in this football game. Wyoming doesn't have the speed offensively, excuse me, defensively to match up with the speed that Oklahoma State does on their offense, Bill. First and 10, and the pitch to Shaw. Shaw rolls to near the 15 yard line. Josh Fields tonight is 12 of 20 for 164 yards. The rushing game, Tatum Bell, eight carries early for 70 yards, and Shaw. That was his seventh carry of the night. And he's picked up 36 yards. And Shaw comes out and Bell comes in here on the short yardage situation, the goal line package, and on the 15 yard line. Second and four at the 15. Woods to Lindsay. And Lindsay has to power his way ahead before he's knocked out on the sideline. Well, when you've got a wide receiver like Rashawn Woods, who's a great receiver, the one thing that NFL scouts want to know is can he block? Rashawn Woods shows that he can block on the outside here. He's the wide receiver, widest to the field. Watch number 82 pin inside. See him there? He gets his cornerback who's covering him, gets him to the ground, and that's what gives Gabe Lindsay a chance to get around the corner. Take a look here as Lindsay runs to the sideline, and good blocking by both wide receivers there. And Coaches like to see that from your wide receivers. First and goal from the seven yard line. Rashawn Woods left, Dewan Woods right. Badgerman, the tight end, came in motion. And right up the gut, Tatum Bell. Seven yards on the TD run for Tatum Bell. Les Miles, Mike Gundy making sure they pass it around offensively as Bell had not been in in the second quarter and said, hey, you earned that one after your first quarter work. And they're just clicking all around here. The offense doing a good job. And Tatum Bell get in behind his left guard who pulls around and easy, not even touch for the score. That's Chris Aiken with a nice block coming around there. Phillips will come on for the point after. It is up and good. And Oklahoma State has it all smoking tonight. It's 31 nothing for Cowboys. Tatum Bell for his Oklahoma State's Cowboys touchdown. The Wyoming Cowboys nothing. Wow, what a hole. Great angle. And there's from the side now coming right at you. As I suspected, nobody touched him. Make it look easy. That offensive line getting one more push. push. Yeah, Mike Gunny talked about it. Execution. They executed on that series, and they have really improved since the second part of the first quarter till now. They have done everything they wanted to do on offense. Yeah, Mike and Les Miles will tell you that. Well, yeah, we changed some things if we knew what was going to happen in Nebraska. But he said basically we liked the plays we called. We thought they would work. We just didn't execute them because, yeah, you give credit to Nebraska in certain situations. But if we execute better, so there's three plays that turn that game around to 
that gave them a win against Nebraska here last year. That's exactly right. When you got things going your way and when you're performing, you're doing the things you're supposed to, and everyone's clicking. That's what's called execution. And they seem to be getting going tonight. Guys. Yeah, very slow offensively to start with. Boy, the second quarter has been fantastic. And again, Pardon has not allowed a kick return tonight. 20 yard line. And although that may not mean a whole lot here this evening, you start doing that game in and game out, and that opposing team always starts on its own 20. What a big boost that gives your defense. That's exactly right. You're out there, and you get used to starting right there. All those guys like to run down the field anyway, make them hit somebody, the special teams guys. Oklahoma Pretty good State. drive there, Bill. Yeah, eight plays, 48 yards, took 326. Josh Fields engineering it. Tatum Bell with the score. Wyoming down 31 nothing. First and 10 now from its own 20 yard line. Arma. Pretty good burst as he gets out to the 28 yard line. It'll be second and two after the eight yard pickup. Arma, his 10th carry of the evening. Paul Duran made the tackle that time. He's rushed for 42 yards. And with 336 to go here in the half. Second down and two. The ball on the 28. Arma again got the first down as he keeps scrambling out to the 34 yard line. As well, things are going for He's Oklahoma State offensively. Defensively, they still need to come out there with that well, shutdown mentality, and that's not happening here against Wyoming, allowing them to get a first down on the ground. Bill Clay, the defense coordinator, says, hey, guys, you got to step it up here, and that's what he'd like to see from this Cowboy defense. Pinson and company, the middle linebacker, need to step in there and make some tackles and get some negative plays. Oklahoma State, Xavier Lawson Kennedy's in the ballgame. He's their prize recruit that had knee surgery late, and they're waiting for him to develop. They were really excited about his potential. He's in the ballgame right now. Bramlett forced to scramble. Made a pretty nice move of it on a first and 10 from the 34. He gets to the 41, almost 42 yard line before Wright and Duran make the tackle. It's a good job that time by Casey Brown stepping up in the pocket away from the pressure and making something out of nothing and getting a pretty good gain on first down. Second down and three. The misdirection, the cross buck, they hand it up the middle. First down again, Wyoming. So, Wyoming, their best looking drive. On the carry. Certainly has, and they're doing it on the ground there. They're not throwing the ball out to the perimeter like they did early in the football game. Just pounded right up inside an Oklahoma State Cowboy defense and getting a little production. This will be a big boost to them. I think to go into half, if they were to put something up on the board, they're going to come out a little, little rejuvenated. Right now, they got to be pretty demoralized. Approaching the two minute mark, and it's first and 10 at the 48 of Wyoming. Bramlett got a little time now, completes it to Bow Knight. First down inside the 40 yard line, down to the 37 and a half of Oklahoma State. Javon Bow Knight on the reception. Well, that shows you the character that Casey Bramlett has as a quarterback. Good job that time of looking outside first. His number one receiver is at the bottom of the screen. He's going to fake pump to him. You see the coverage break down there. Williams does a nice job breaking up. Then he looks to his number two receiver, Bo Knight, who's in the middle of the field. That's a good experienced senior quarterback. First and 10 at the 38. Bramlett. And complete at the 34-yard line. McGuffey finally gets a reception as Williams was covering on the play. That was nicely thrown by Bramlett. He has a nice grab, too, out there. Bramlett throws it out there to McGuffey. One of his favorite receivers, a senior receiver from Riverton, Wyoming. Young man who's also on the Bolitnikoff watch list. Came in with 1,942 receiving yards. Second and six of the 34. Cowboy fans getting a little edgy. They don't want to lose that shutout, much less before halftime. And this one thrown to Malcolm Floyd, and he is down to the 31-yard line before he is brought down by Smith, Darnell Smith. 
No huddle situation here by Wyoming, getting up the line of scrimmage and conserving time. Moving the ball pretty well. This is an important third down here. I think they need to be careful. 37 seconds and the flag is thrown. Probably a legal procedure as. I think the right tackle and right guard started a little bit early that time. Joe Glenn's got his got his bunch working. You know this actually may help them. They you know, not burning the time out. They get a penalty and they're going to pop up there. Watch the right left side of your screen and the left guard and the left tackle both. Defense popped up there. Big code. There's Wyoming out of timeouts with 34 seconds to go. Third down and eight. And third and eight. The crowd will get after it here as we close in on halftime. Bramlett from the shotgun. Got protection here and complete. Floyd spins down the far sideline to the 14 yard line before he's wrapped out of bounds. Well, that's some of the attitude they like to see out of out of McCoy, big tall wide receiver to the outside. Watch him do the comeback here and then spin to the sideline, spin around and use his speed and ability. That's a good job by that young man. Sets up a chance to put the ball in the end zone. So first and ten, ball at the Oklahoma State. Let's see where they mark it. 14 and. 19 seconds remaining and Oklahoma State player being helped off the field. First down and 10 from the Cowboy. 14. That was Greg Richmond who was being helped off. We hope he's okay. 19 seconds to go. First and 10 at the 14. Wyoming trying to get on the board. Bramlett. They come after him. He completes it on the screen, and it's touchdown Wyoming. To Malcolm TD. Floyd touchdown gets Wyoming. the TD. That's and a neat play, Bill. Yeah, very impressive. A little roll right, throwback screen to Floyd. He's got a couple of blockers in front of him and does a good, they do a good job. Watch your quarterback start to his right or left, as you see, and he throws back this to the screen. Floyd coming inside here, and he got a couple of blocks in front, and that's all he needs to get into the end zone. And the shutout is no more. 31 6. Point after number 40. Yowsey comes on for the point after. Derek Yowsey, sophomore from Fort Collins, Colorado. And the kick is good. 31 7. One more look at the touchdown pass from Bramlett to Floyd. Well, this is a confidence builder for Wyoming going in at halftime, Bill, and getting seven points on the board here. They, you know, hopefully they'll. Make some adjustments at halftime and possibly get back into this game here in the second half. You still have to have something to finish. Gatorade, is it in you? Floyd with the TD reception. He had three receptions for 17 yards in the season opening win against Montana State and caps off a nine play 80 yard drive here. And Floyd with three catches for 39 yards on the drive. And for the 90s, five for 71 with the score. Well, it all started with the running game, too. They got a couple of plays on the ground, a couple of first downs, moving the ball on the ground, and then they threw the ball. And that's the Joe Glenn style of offense. They want to blend the run with the pass. They're a passing football team. He'll tell you that. There's no doubt about it. They're going to throw it 60% of the time. And, but they've got to be able to run the football effectively. To, otherwise, the defenses can just tee off and rush that quarterback and put pressure on you and take away the receivers. That's a good blend of running and passing for that score. And the Cowboys will receive the kickoff for a change. Parker to kick it for Wyoming, and Jones and Morency are deep for Oklahoma State. Taken by the short receiver, and looks like Willis, I believe, tackled at the 40. Maybe the 42 yard line. 37 Sean Willis. Willis hobbling a little bit as he heads off the field. So Oklahoma State with nine seconds to work with here in the second quarter. Wyoming, speaking of going against the Big 12, they'll stay in the Big 12. Next week they host the University of Kansas. 
a pretty tough schedule as they also play at Boise State and five bowl teams on their schedule this year. Bowl teams from a year ago. So the Cowboys out of the shotgun with nine seconds and Fields will let it fly and it is incomplete out of bounds as Dewan Woods Passes incomplete. Caught the ball, Bill, but he just yeah. didn't have his feet in bounds. He just got to find out where he's at on the field. He knows he might have been able to come down with this catch in bounds. Brother Rashawn will tell him how to perfect that move. <laughs> 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 got to work the sideline, get the feet in bounds. Or Les Miles will tell him. Yeah. Les wants to see big things out of Dewan this year. Dewan, an all stater in high school with 21 touchdown receptions, 988 yards receiving a senior year. That ends the first half. So the That's Cowboys, the impressive Oklahoma indeed. State, even Wyoming, though the shutout seven. blown. 31 7, the score at intermission. And they've done it in a variety of ways with a field goal, a punt return, and then three running touchdowns. But the passing game has certainly been a big part of the effort here, up 31 7 at the break. And I want to remind you, stay with us at halftime. We're going to have a chance to give you more about the rededication of the stadium, the renaming of the stadium here, Boone Pickens Stadium. And, boy, some great things happening here at Oklahoma State University. And let's go down to John Radigan with head coach Les Miles. Yeah, we are here with Les Miles. Guys and coach, other than that last drive, almost the perfect first half for your team, eh? Yeah, we're, we're getting a little bit better, working on some things that we need to get done. Defense lets down in the second, half, in the second part of the second quarter and then puts us gives them seven points that they, in my mind that we got to work to offset the second half is so. that drive sort of an indication that hey you can't let down in the second half is that maybe how you can remind them there isn't the, any question and if they if they can come out and sustain a drive and get 14 to two touchdown game it's really 17 point game so it's yeah. kind of you know it's one of those things you got to play football all right coach we appreciate it good luck in the second See half you. that is coach Les miles no doubt excited about what is about to happen here at halftime. It's the official announcement of the $70 million gift given by Boone Pickens last March. Back up to you guys, Bill and Gary. All right, thanks very much, John. We'll have those halftime activities for you here in just a bit, so stay with us on Fox Sportsnet. It's Oklahoma State 31, Wyoming 7 at the half. Oklahoma State with a 31 7 halftime lead at Boone Pickens Stadium. Hoping you enjoy the halftime activities and with the renaming of the stadium, let's enjoy the Oklahoma State University marching band for a few moments.
Welcome back to Boone Pickens Stadium. Got a great sound to it, doesn't it? More on that in a moment. It's 31-7 at the half. Oklahoma State in control of Wyoming. Bill Land, Gary Reasons with you up top. And let's check out the halftime stats here that the Cowboys 18-12, but certainly in first downs, uh, they dominated this game, Gary. No doubt about it, Bill. The good part about it here is they've got Blinn rushing the ball, throwing the ball. They've got total yards, 305. That's a lot of production in the first half. And time of possession, Wyoming wins that one, but really they haven't done a whole lot except for the last drive in that second quarter. We're glad to welcome to the booth Boone Pickens, who so generous with his gift to this university to help build this new stadium and Mr. Pickens it's a pleasure to have you here and thank you first of all for coming up but more importantly for what you're doing for Oklahoma State University it's got to be a thrill tonight here to be honored like this too. Bill thank you I, it's uh, I feel overwhelmed by the evening. What do you think when that sign rolls down it says Boone Pickens Stadium that's got to be a pretty nice feeling. Huh? Uh, I loved it. I loved it. Kickoff comes to Oklahoma State, and the Cowboys tripped up at the 20-yard line. There was a flag thrown. By number six, Robert Jones for the Cowboys. Before the game, there was a groundbreaking ceremony that took place, and I think any time when the dirt is turned is when people finally realize, hey, this thing is going to happen. Is that kind of where you felt that way as well? Oh, yeah. The... Uh, I agree. We, you know, we knew it was going to happen, but now we're on our way, and, uh, and now we, you know, it's going to. It'll seem like a long time uh, before we get it uh, up and going. But actually, you know, the South Stands will be finished for the start of the 04 season. Three phases, and this would be the first of them. And tell us a little bit about why you decided to to make such a generous move. Made some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amen. <laughs> oh, I, I, you know, I. I retired from uh, Mesa uh, when, uh, in 1996. I was 68 years old. And I don't know, the good Lord has, has really been good to me, and I have actually made more money since I retired to Mesa and started two other companies than I ever made before that. So I thought, you know, heck, let's, let's give it away before we lose it again. Now, you're a cowboy from way back. You, know, you got your, your affiliation here with Oklahoma State back in the 50s, and, and you've, you've held that close to your heart, you know, and I'm sure that as you go out and you spread the gospel about Oklahoma State University because it is special to you. It's very special to me. And I'll tell you, uh, trying to play in a Big 12 is a tough, tough uh, deal. And... Oklahoma State's going to get competitive. I mean, there's no question about it. I mean, you know, picking on the edge with the chickens just won't work. And, you know, you want to get in the middle of it. You want to be competitive. You want to win. You know you're not going to win every time. I mean, that's silly. But uh, but we're going to uh, we're going to get our share. Well, certainly uh, with the upgrading and the brand new facility that this place will be that uh, I think it's uh, not only going to be beautiful in first class, but I think it's also going to be very unique here with Gallagher Iba and the athletic center that is connected to it. And that's going to make it kind of special. It is. I mean, it's unusual. I, I love for a football field to be on a campus where it's walking distance to the students. And uh, and I, you know, it's turned out just exactly like I wanted it to be. Well, what do you think of this football team? Let's get the important stuff, huh? Well, I wish we were <laughs> right now at the half at, in Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, they seem to be click, okay. clicking a little better tonight, don't yeah. they? And it's, uh, but listen, we, you know, uh, we lost that ball game. But we, you know, we can, we can still be 10 and one and a bowl game. So uh, we've got a good football team. We've got a good football team. What about your thoughts about Les Miles and what he's done with this program over the last two or three years? He's, he's put some things in place. He's, he's got some great talent out there and it looks like things have started to come together for him. I think that's right. And if you look at uh, our year on recruiting, it was good. We have we got some of the top players out of uh, out of Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana. Well, Boone, we certainly appreciate your time here. And, uh, again, thanks so much. And I know uh, I speak for all of the people in Oklahoma State that are tuned in tonight that are watching this that realize the Cowboys have just taken a huge step toward being a great football program. And uh, just can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the university. Bill, thank you, Gary. Enjoyed being on with you. Good seeing you. Come thanks. back and see us again. Yeah. Gary. Anytime, anytime you ask me. You bet. I think we need to retire, Gary. That's the financial <laughs> Retire, fi find the other gig. There you go. <laughs> there you go. It's unreal. <laughs> it's unreal, he says. Okay. Uh, great man. I, 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 it's a great, great thing that he's doing here for this university. I know that everyone associated with it really just say everything great about him because of what he's meant to him. And that kind of a gift, that large amount of money. Wow. Five yards, replay first down. And should be noted, too, that uh, 
he did not give that money with all right and you put my name on a stadium he's not that kind of guy whatsoever but uh, obviously the folks at Oklahoma State uh, thought enough of him quickly and realized, hey wait a minute we need to do something do something right now and, and I think the important thing too, Gary is this will draw momentum to others to to step up to the plate whether it's a, a hundred dollars or uh, maybe not a figure as large as he's giving of course but uh, that will be a momentum thing that I think that will really fire this thing off. Here's Tatum Bell with a run down the sideline across the 50 yard line and Bell picking up where he left off in the first half. Well, he's showing the speed that he has in the tailback spot. He's a 4-4 guy in the 40 and does a good job of breaking it to the outside. Once he sees daylight, gets in there inside of his blocks and watch him get to the corner and accelerate and run away from the defense. Good blocking out front there. You got Dewan Woods with a block and good execution there that time by the Oklahoma State Cowboys. And the Cowboys moving it again here. I'm actually more interested in seeing what OSU does defensively. I got a feeling Les Miles sent a message to that defensive unit the way the first half ended. The offense is uh, percolating pretty good once again. Well, John Raddy and asked him some pointed questions, and I know that he wants to get that turned around as well. The play action and the pass to the end zone and just missing as trying to hook up down there with Devereaux, the freshman from Duncanville, Texas. Well, that's pretty good coverage that time in the secondary by Wyoming. And Devereaux with the speed. We talked about that earlier. He's isolated at the top of the field here and going to get one-on-one -on -one coverage and break to the post. He's got a couple of steps. I think if you throw it out there, well, that's a safety coming over the top and having a chance to get him. Jay McNeil makes a nice play on the football. Oklahoma State 31-7. Opening drive, second half. 13.44 to go, third quarter. And a second down and 10, the ball at the 48-yard line. Tatum Bell breaking tackles, dragging people with him. First down, Oklahoma State at the 38-yard line, or it would seem they'd have that. May have to check the spot on it as Sharner made the tackle, the middle linebacker. That's exactly right. You talk about Tatum Bell breaking tackles. One of the things that he came away from the, the Nebraska game a week ago where Mike Gunny said, hey, we have to break some tackles. You see one here, breaks a big defensive tackle, make, almost has a chance to make a play in the hole, but he breaks through that one, and Zach Morris couldn't pull him to the ground. The defensive tackle from Wyoming, and Tatum Bell gets good positive yardage. Eighth career 100-yard rushing game now for Tatum Bell after that run, 11 for 105 yards. And Cowboys on a third and short, give it to Burrow, the fullback, and he gets him the first down. Just shy of the 35-yard line. First and 10 OSU. Well, when you get the running game going outside, inside, doesn't really matter who you hand it to. The big offensive line, they need to improve each week, and that's what they're doing. Ben Bowie, the center, kind of the senior statesman up there, doing a good job of leading that group. He's a Remington Award candidate, number 56. Josh Fields has a lot of confidence in him and getting anything set up front. When you can run the football, it sets up their play-action game, which I think Oklahoma State has one of the best in the country. First and 10 to 34. He fakes out on the flat. Rashawn Woods inside the 20. Woods at the 10. And ankle tackled as he dives down toward the five-yard line. As great a night as he's having, you know he wants to get in the end zone, too. He wants to get in on the action, put some points on the board. Josh Fields set this up very nicely. He did the pump fake inside and set everybody on the defense, and Rashawn Woods just finds the void. Watch the timing here. The pump fake there, the outside, then Josh delivers to his number one receiver, Rashawn Woods. Very easy pitch and catch situation he got behind the free safety Rosales there who's coming up trying to make a play and Rashawn Woods having a pretty good night. Eight catches 153 yards. It was last year he had the 12 catch 226 yard three touchdown performance in the big win over Oklahoma. Delay a game on Oklahoma State so first and goal at the six will push it back. Well, tight formation that time, and Josh Fields is trying to audible at the line of scrimmage. I think he saw big Rashawn Woods one-on-one -on -one coverage outside with Roderick Jackson. The Rod's about a 5'11 receiver where Rashawn Woods has all his size at 6'2, and it's that fade route that he likes to run. Well, I like the fade route because even if they know that it's coming, you know, it's all about technique and ability to go and get the ball. Well, let's see if they can execute. If they're going to run that to the corner of the end zone. See if he got the cue. First and goal from the 11, Tatum Bell. 
Dances down to the seven. Got to soften them up a little bit more inside. Run that ball hammered in there at the big top. Tailback Tatum Bell. Chancellor Van makes the tackle. Now Dewan Woods comes in the game. Staying in is tight end Charlie Johnson. Willis comes out. Second and goal from the seven. Fields to the right side and Tatum Bell, other Lindsay and Lindsay corralled there as Wyoming collapsed on him quickly. Good pursuit by the Wyoming Cowboys. Miller well, back inside the seven. I think Wyoming figured out how to take uh, Rashawn Woods out of the game as you bring him off the line of scrimmage and you tackle him. <laughs> Wyoming yes. did that that time when uh, take a look here on the isolation. You take him out there and Dixon says, no, I'm just going to pull you down and take you down. That, that's one way and he wants a flag, but you didn't get that one. There's another look at it. And, yeah, that's pretty good. That's a wrestling move. But you know, Rashawn Woods, did he get up moaning and groaning? No, he's all right. You know, I know I'm going to. They'll catch that. Fields batted oh, nice down play. and almost That's intercepted that time. Casavan making the big play for Wyoming. Mm -hmm. And OSU will try to send on the field goal unit. Good recognition by Casavan that time. Stepping out to his left, left side. He sees the block here. Gets his left hand up and knocks it down. And sometimes you get those lucky enough to where they bounce up to you. And nonetheless, it's a good play by Casavan. Bring on the field goal unit. 23 yarder. Phillips got him on the board with a 23 yarder. 12:40 remaining in the first quarter. Trying to start the second half in similar fashion. Booms it through, and Oklahoma State takes the opening drive in the second half and gets three more. It's 34-7. Cowboys will take a brief break on Fox Sports Net. Four seven Oklahoma State with 10 10 to go in the third quarter. Bill Ram, Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you here at Boone Pickens Stadium. And the Cowboys will kick it off for the first time in the second half. No kick returns though by Wyoming. This young man has done a good job far and kicking it into the end zone or through the end zone and no all touchbacks. Bo Knight and Jones are deep again for Wyoming. Here's your first chance. Jones, 10, 15, 20. Jones at the 30 and brought down from behind. Jones tackled at the 36 yard line. A little seam there that time. Sometimes when you're used to your kicker kicking it deep into the end zone with the touchbacks, you. You lose your lane responsibility. And I think that's what happened here at Oklahoma State this time. Takes it two or three yards deep, but gets in there and just finds the a seam to the outside. You've got to fill those lanes appropriately, but uh, good job at the time by Wyoming. Going to get out to about the 36, 37 yard line. Chris Wright makes the tackle from behind. And Wyoming. Remember the last drive by Wyoming in the second quarter, Bill? Did a good job moving the football against his defense. Bramlett. That's incomplete. incomplete. For 28. It's kind of a low throw and out there and Casey Bramlett looks down to actually his third receiver. He had two routes to his left and he comes back downhill to his tailback flaring out of the backfield just throws it low that time. The middle across the 40 to the 41 yard line. And straight ahead number 20. Armand Armand again. Armand five, wrapped up by 99 Lawrence Pinson. Pinson made the stop for Oklahoma State. Armand now 13 carries on the night for 60 yards. Leading rusher by a wide margin. Harrison and Bonite have carried once each. Bramlett's been sacked. Officially six carries minus 23 yards. 
Third and five, and again, trouble. Speaking of sacks, Bramlett brought down again Greg Richmond. Greg Richmond. That's a good speed rush to the outside. Richmond again comes around the corner. And just keep bringing the pocket, squeezing that pocket into the quarterback, and Casey Bramlett didn't get rid of it in time. Obviously, would like to have done that, but this is a big play by Oklahoma State. You see here in the, the top of your screen there, Greg Richmond coming around the corner and doing a good job. Into the second quarter, he came out of the game, made a fell in the backfield, but he came on the sideline. Looks like he's okay. Fifth sack of the night for the OSU defense. Lindsey to take Donovan's punt, gets away from it. It goes out of bounds. And Oklahoma State will get pretty decent field position. And a timeout with 8.35 remaining in the third. 34-7 Oklahoma State, I should say, for Wyoming. Welcome back to Boone Pickens Stadium. This is the artwork, the commemorative artwork that Boone Pickens was awarded at the halftime ceremony. We are with the golf coach here at Oklahoma State University who is charged with holding this. Mike Holder uh, has had great success as a golf coach, but you are also a good friend and one of the guys that helped bring Boone Pickens in uh, as a huge financial contributor here, Mike. Now, I guess my claim to fame with Boone is uh, I get to hunt quail with him and pick up his dead birds for him. Well, that's pretty good duty though, isn't it? Yeah, there's a lot of them to pick up. Yeah, now, obviously this kind of gift is overwhelming for most people people you knew he was going to give something you've been working with him on this deal did, did 70 million surprise even you well yeah he never would tell me you know <laughs> I thought a million dollars a lot of money so yeah. yeah it's incomprehensible yeah and Mike Holder has had tremendous success as the golf coach here at Oklahoma State you guys hosted the NCAA championships this year and you've had you know one championship after another how uh, satisfying is it and when can we look for another championship out of the Cowboys? Well, we thought we uh, had a good chance this year, but we came up a little short. Mr. Pickens helped, helped us put on a great show, and we're going to try to make another bid for it uh, as soon as we can get it back, maybe 2008, 2009, but that's out of our hands. We'd like to, we'd like to get it back, and we think we, we probably have a good shot. Yeah, and with a talent like Hunter Mahan, you, you always have a pretty good shot. Right? Yeah, players like that look me pretty, maybe look like a pretty good coach. Yeah, that's great, Coach. We appreciate it. Mike Holder, golf coach here at Oklahoma State and a good friend of Boone Pickens guys back to you. Thank you very much John Tatum Bell running the football here for the Cowboys and has the first down on a second and two. You know, unique, unique story he's talking about Boone Pickens you know on football teams they talk about role players and then at a university you have role players Well, he was a role player he, he picked up the birds and uh, made Mr. Pickens happy and uh, is all well in the end, right? Well, I'll tell you, that's a world player. Yeah, Mike Holder has just done an unbelievable job. And if folks uh, haven't been on Karsten Creek, the golf course that uh, he spent how many years raising the money for and getting people involved and uh, holding the uh, national championship out there this year, just an unbelievable golf course. And uh, you need to check it out sometime. And he has done a phenomenal job with that program here. Bell again. Adding to those totals you just saw a moment ago as he's having a huge night. Tatum Bell last year, 1,096 yards, fifth in the Big 12, 11 touchdowns. And he got one touchdown tonight. Flora made the tackle on him that time. Well, even a year ago, Bill, he had a kind of a sore shoulder up top, and he played with that and played with pain. I think he's fully healthy now. You can see him running the ball and running real well, making good cuts, good decisions, breaking through tackles, and also showing his speed. 15 carries for 129 yards right now and didn't play much of all that second period. Timeout called by Oklahoma State with 731 remaining in the third quarter. 82 is a popular number around here isn't it. Yeah and for good reason that yeah. man's put up some excellent numbers in his career here at Oklahoma State. We're talking about golf and uh, Mike Holder and the success he's had. Of course, this year they won the Big 12 championship. This is footage, Hunter Mahan from late April, where the Big 12 championship was held at Southern Hills over in Tulsa, another pretty fair golf course. And Mahan also the 2002 U.S. Amateur Champ. Hell yeah! And my partner. <laughs> and. Of course, Oklahoma State end up finishing second this year in the NCAAs, but the they, they are always right there. You didn't see how Charles Harrell III did the day. He was doing great in the Canadian Open. And, and just one of the, the many period. pro products that Mike Holder has turned Florida, out here at Oklahoma 16, State. Miami, 10. And kind of interesting that 
He says actually the the weather that you have here with the wind and the cool springs of time is actually is a recruiting tool because he says, if you want to play on the tour, you got to learn to play in everything. So if you just want to sit in California or Arizona and Florida and play in great conditions all the time, or you want to come to a place where you get a chance to compete with the elements. And then when they've added that golf course, it's been phenomenal. Oklahoma State with its second down and two, the ball on the OSU 43 yard line. Fields back to pass and going deep. And it is intercepted inside the 10 yard line. Jackson finally got one his way. Roderick Jackson came up with the interception and a flag is thrown back in the backfield though. Well, I think it's gonna be a late hit on the defense hitting Josh Fields in the backfield took a pretty good shot threw the ball down there and this is not going to be an interception it's going to be called back you see Josh kind of shaking the cobwebs off it's a pretty good shot he took in the backfield. Well Les Miles and crew told us that they're going to have to protect their quarterback 15 yard penalty automatic first down and likewise Joe Glenn said we've got to put pressure Nebraska did that had some success we've got to come after him that doesn't mean you're trying to be dirty but sometimes you go beyond the point and they got nailed on that one well when you want to throw the ball down the field you've got to develop time and that time is allowing the receivers to get down the field and the quarterback to do his play action fakes or get set back there so that offensive line has to develop that pocket and Josh has to stay in that pocket and He's going to take some shots, but he's got to have to have enough time to deliver that football. And right there at the end, he got the ball loose, but uh, just a late hit there by the defense. Wyoming coming and uh, hitting him after he's throwing. Fields 13 of 28 last week, 97 yards. Tonight, a whole different story as he's 16 of 28 for 216. And again, great running plays, good vision, and Tatum Bell. It's tackled by Gottschalk and Finn. Well, you saw the eyes there, Bill. Exactly right. He's got the play inside. He's supposed to go inside of the tackle, but Tatum Bell sees the hole to the outside and uses his speed to get around the corner. Good job that time. Just picking his way through and finding the hole that's there against the defense. Whereas Bell it was a real coming out party last year. Those two huge wins over AM and Nebraska. They started with Nebraska at 182 yards in that game and then came back with 143 and three touchdowns against AM. And the first downs tonight, well, it's a shutout in the second half. From the state offensively now got it all clicking. Defense has had it all night other than the one drive to end the half for Wyoming. This one thrown up for grabs and Jackson there again. Knocking it away. I Going for Dewan Woods this time. Yeah, trying to do the fade route that he likes to throw to 82. His brother on the other side. Watch him here at the end. He's going to get a little push on the defense back. Trying to get that separation. Watch that little push right there. Two hands and just needs to get his time and a jump up. And that, that ball might have been there for him. He kind of slipped there. dewan has got to find re refine those those fine points there at the receiver spot. And he's a well, young player, just a red shirt freshman. We're that's can't, a can't good example his though, of his inexperience. It, right there but just lost his balance and sometimes I don't think people give Rashawn enough credit for to be able to get that separation and still be able to jump for a ball and not slip and lose your balance and that body control. Here's Bell balancing his way 10 5 scoots to the end zone touchdown. Tatum Bell into the end zone touchdown Cowboys. Well he had a touchdown early in the game where no one touched him running through the hole and the blocking is exquisite on this play for Oklahoma State, and I think he's going to go again untouched into the end zone. I tell you, he just sets up his blocks perfectly. Look as the offensive lineman come around. You see 69 Aiken coming around and pulling, going through the hole again. No one is touching him at all. Actually, there's one young man has a chance, but not even a clean shot on Tatum Bell as he runs for the score. Makes it 40 to 7 on a 30-yard touchdown scamper. Tatum Bell. Phillips for the point after. It's good. Count it. 41 7 with 638 to go in the third quarter. And the Cowboys up 41 to 7. It is good. Keep Welcome back. 41 10, Oklahoma State of Wyoming. Yeah, it's been loud tonight. Not all the youngsters that think that's a great deal as the Cowboys leading it 41 10. Bill and Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you. And well, our big guys, Bill, Tatum Bell, Josh Fields, Rashawn Woods, take a look at what they've done tonight. 170 yards for Tatum Bell and a couple of scores. And 
Josh Fields throwing to Rashawn Woods, 16 for 29 and 216 yards. And Rashawn, his normal eight catches a game, 152 yards. I think those that's good production and uh, good execution for them on offense. And that'll be very pleasing for Les Miles and company. That was best, of course, the 182 yards last year against Nebraska. And he's played less than half the game here tonight. Yeah, I would think uh, the offense is showing. And this is uh, what Oklahoma State is looking for. All right, they want to make progress, get better, get some of those young players developing in the line and some other positions to where when they return to Big 12 play, there are no softies. 14.35 to go in the ball game. Just starting the fourth quarter as Bigley. It's on and. Farden back in the punt formation and Terrell Vinson is the deep man for Wyoming. And fourth and two. Cowboys came after OSU on that one. And it goes up into row three. And a little pressure that time. Cole couldn't step into it. He kind of shied away from it. The ball goes off the side of his foot. Let's see where they mark this one on the 40 yard line. So officially just a 15 yard punt. Do some damage to the average on what's been a good night for Farden. A couple of late scores here. Texas Tech ahead of uh, New Mexico. A Big 12 score 28 to 14 in the fourth quarter. And Texas A&M leading at halftime over Utah. Kansas came back and is blowing out UNLV 39-17 after three. Martin Gino, hoping he does well up there at KU. Big time tackle that time come flying through as OSU comes up with the play. Victor DeGreat with the stop. Another and freshman getting you know, a chance to play some middle linebacker. Pinson out of the game. Coming over and making a nice up ender. Hey, what that. DeSoto, Duncanville, South Dallas area has been pretty good to Les Miles. Here, look, here, just goes low on him and spins him up. There's DeGreat from also DeSoto. And Tatum Bell. Vernon Grant, Duncanville. Bramlett in trouble, and it is complete. It looks like a catch. Yeah, a nice diving grab by Bo Knight. At the 46 yard line. Ball was tipped. No and doubt about that. And Bonite sees it going out. Bonite. Fountain That's got a, a hand on it, I think. Game seven. Oh, okay. It was DeGreat that got a hand on it, deflected it. Still made the catch. <laughs> Coach is going to tell him, so I'm just put two hands up there. Catch that one next time. <laughs> Good reaction. Third and four at the 45. Bramlett out of the shotgun for Wyoming. And Oklahoma State again, good pressure. And that ball might have been tipped also. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, Coming around on the, on the speed rush there. Marque Fountain again coming through. Marque Fountain from Midwest City. Fourth down. Fourth down and Four, the ball on the 45, that's punted away. Williams is deep for Oklahoma State, Durant Williams. Fountain from Missouri City, let me correct that, I think it's at University City. Missouri City, Texas, where he's from. Williams dancing around, still on his feet. They finally gang tackle him. His forward progress stopped at the 18 after a 41-yard punt from Donovan. And Oklahoma State will take over there with a 41-10 lead. <laughs> Oklahoma State with a 41-10 lead and 12-37 to go in the third quarter. We've been looking at the new version of the triplets here tonight, having good nights. What about the old and Barry Sanders and the Heisman Trophy winning season that he had? We'll remember that play at Colorado. Yes, wow. And I can remember when he worked out for the pro scouts here, and they just came away checking their watches. Vertical jump was incredible, and it was just like, wait a minute, this guy is. Well, Bill, I had the chance to play charts. against him in the NFL, and it was one of those nightmare things whenever you played against Barry Sanders because you, he had the quickest change of a direct, of direction I've ever seen on a running back, and, boy, they, he took that to a lot of yardage in the NFL. I think he's number two all-time in the NFL uh, rushing. And 
Hey, that's a tremendous accomplishment. And he even shut it down early. Yeah, 41 inch vertical jump. He benched 225 18 times and I had 11 foot standing broad jump, which just is incredible. And Scott's going, oh, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> And as you know, when they all show up, you better do on that day. No matter what you've done with games, they make so much of those workouts. Well, here's Shaw doing his own little job of a nice night as 12 rushes for 70 yards. And Cowboys moving it again here. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. It's hard to tackle what wasn't there. Is that what you're telling me about Barry Sanders? Exactly. <laughs> Not many people that can run down a football field going full speed, and he, he can get going full speed pretty quickly, but when you break down as a tackler trying to get in front of him and, and you go to make a tackle and he jumps right or left a yard or two yards and you catch air and you know, it's it's uncommon. I mean, there's no one that I could ever imagine. And I played against a lot of great line, uh, running backs, and there was nobody like Barry Sanders. He was the video game on the field. <laughs> Second and nine, ball at the 33 as Oklahoma State getting everybody into this one here and keeping the football and the tackle made by Wyoming near the line of scrimmage. Well, that shows good. Pocket presence. He sees the blitzer coming. It's a corner pressure blitz on on Beagley, and all he does is step up into the pocket and avoid that and try to make something positive instead of taking a big loss on the play. So that's good peripheral vision telling me he's seeing the field. Mays making the tackle on Jamie Beagley. Beagley coming on in relief of Josh Fields. Fields done for the night at 16 of 29 for 216 yards. Bell 17 carries 170 yards and Sean Woods, eight receptions, 152. As Bell also got a pair of touchdowns to his stat line. This one, good looking pass by Bigley on a third and ten at the 32. Completes it to Dewan Woods, and let's go down now to John Radigan. Yeah, you know when your when your son is on the football team, it's pretty easy to decide what to wear to the game. You wear your son's jersey, right? What if you have three sons on the football team like the Woodses do? They've modified some jerseys here. They got Rashawn, they got Donovan, they got Dewan, all represented on the jerseys. I'm with Lawrence Wood, the patriarch of the family. And Lawrence, I, I can't imagine how proud you are to have three of your sons on this football team. Well, we're just so uh, thankful that they had an opportunity to play together. This is the first time that they, they've had an opportunity to play together. And we're just as excited about it as they are. Now, obviously, it was a Rashawn Woods jersey, and then it was modified, right? Yes. My Modified to include the rest of the family because we are a family. Now you're out of space on the jersey. Are there more woods? Are we going to have to add more numbers? Well, it's Rashad will be graduating uh, this year, so yeah, this year, so uh, we will probably have to get us another jer jersey with just two numbers on it. But now, Juana, you're pointing at someone back here. We got another player back here? Uh, my grandson, this is Gary. And uh, he scored four touchdowns yesterday in his first football game, so he's going to be our running back. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is great. And, you know, Lawrence, obviously you could have all three of them make significant contributions. What do you expect from Donovan this year? I mean, what is he hearing? Is he going to go redshirt this year? Do you think he'll play? Well, we really don't know. Uh, you know, that's kind of in the hands of the coaches. But when you're young like that, you think that uh, you can do just about anything that all of the other players are doing. But he's really young, and we'd like to see him uh, redshirt this year, to be honest with you. Whose idea was the, uh, the modification of the jerk? That was one of idea because she's kind of creative and uh, she sort of uh, uh, bought, brought in a, a home tradition we used to call them the wood boys and so we just kind of brought that into the Jersey thing. That's great. Lawrence we appreciate it. Wanna thank you very much. Congratulations on such a successful football playing family the Woods. Guys back up to you. All right. Thank you. Dewan three grabs for 34 yards tonight. We gave you Rashawn's total of eight for 152 and Donovan you see Dad says, you know, just go ahead and redshirt him here. Well, the penalty against Oklahoma State on the punt attempt and the result first to 10 at the 40 now for Wyoming with 10.33 to go. Senior Casey Bramlett back at the controls in there all night. Hands it off here and tell you what, good pop that time by the middle linebacker. Oh, did great. I can see why they're excited about him. And Gertman also went on the play. Brad Gertman, another one of the newcomers here that 
They're excited about out of Houston and the Houston Touchdown Club Defensive Player of the Year last year while playing at Memorial High School. He's a guy that a lot of folks really wanted. Yeah, he's a big guy, big body inside. There's a premium on defensive tackles who can play well. And number 90 there, Gary, is Xavier Lawson Kennedy, who was probably the most highly recruited of all of their players and had the late surgery. So it's taken a little bit while to come back, but this is a guy just very explosive and Les Miles really made a dent recruiting wise down in Texas. I like the Marcos, the Cowboy. 45. Kennedy, another one of those from Duncanville, 6'1, 320 pounds. First and 10 at the 45. Play action, Bramlett. Now they come after him. He unloads, and it is complete. Touchdown, Wyoming. Malcolm Floyd, a sensational grab. Bramlett just aired it out. And he got hit hard when he threw it as well. well. Casey Bramlett threw it as far as he could and as high as he could and let your big receiver, Malcolm Floyd, go up for it. The play action fake here. You take a look at K uh, Casey Bramlett as he delivers the football and watch Floyd go up for it. He says, that's my ball. My, I'm up over the top. Goes over Daniel McLemore, number four, who's right in front of him. And a big score for Wyoming. Well, Floyd had the touchdown at the end of the first half with 13 seconds to go. And he gets another one here. And the point after is by Yawis is good. No, I, and uh, yeah, makes it 17. And with 10-11 to go, 41-17 OSU. Welcome back. Bill Land, Gary Reasons, John Radigan with you here at Boone Pickens Stadium, Oklahoma State. 41-17 leader in Wyoming to kick it off. Scott Parker, the kicker for the Wyoming Cowboys, and it's taken at the three-yard line. And breaking it out to the 30. And hit hard. Jones takes it. Derrick Williams, beg your pardon, at the 42-yard line. Yard well, Cowboys get a lot of different people Josh involved Barnes. here on kicking game returns and special teams plays and all of them showing a little bit of brilliance. You know, Casey Brown to see his numbers in the first half and the second half a little bit different there. 128 yards just on four completions. A couple of big plays there. No doubt. Look at the play action fake here. Good job of doing that. And holds uh, the defensive line rush there but he takes a shot at the end but good job this time by Malcolm Floyd going up over the top and Ooh. controlling that football. Floyd on that play 45 yards he had a 13 yard reception for a score earlier tonight and see why Joe Glenn the coach at Wyoming talks about got some guys that will play at the next level Oklahoma State want to establish that ground game again and Tatum Bell back in and Scampers to the 49 yard line. Well, taking care of a little business here. Put your hosses back in the football game and Tatum Bell back in there. Tatum Bell on the carry brought down by 18 Leonard Jones. Just said, Coach, I want a little more work tonight. 170 yards uh, before that carry and got him another eight or nine more. This might be a, a record game for him tonight if he gets a couple more yards rushing, Bill. Continue to rack him up as Bell. Across the 50 here on this second down and two carry, and he's going to move the chains again. Take Had the big game a year ago against Nebraska, rushing the football, and still in there in the fourth quarter. Spot the ball inside Wyoming territory, just inside the 49. Did get the first down. Needs one yard for a new career high. He's got 18 carries for 181. 19 carries for 181. And Lindsey going down the far sideline. And Lindsey, well, he's been elusive tonight as well. Made a big impact. Punt return, for, yeah, punt return for a touchdown in the first half and caught three balls. The slip screen, he's caught that twice early in the football game and now late here later on. Breaking a tackle and getting more yardage. 18 yards on that play. 
Bell as we continue to watch his march toward the record. 33 carries, 182 against Nebraska, his best. Tonight, 19 for 181. Timeouts. And it's a timeout, Oklahoma State, with the first and 10 at the 29 coming up and 8.56 remaining to play. Interesting. Rashawn Woods come to the near sideline and he noticed that the formation was not correct, so he calls the timeout to the, the line judge. You know, we've had the opportunity tonight to take a look at different aspects of Oklahoma State and the greatness in their athletic program, and we're going to take a look at a wrestling flashback and OSU in wrestling and national championships just been synonymous. And this is Jake Rochelle beating Missouri Scott Barker for the NCAA title at 184 and a 31st national championship. That was in Kansas City at Kemp Arena. There's John Smith, of course, former Olympic champ and now the head coach. And the crowd they had was incredible up there of OSU fans and support and Oklahoma State national champions again in wrestling this past year. 31 national championships. I walked into their, their, their Heritage Hall, their trophy area there, and you see all those plaques up there for those national championships. And that's pretty impressive. Yeah, I would urge Cowboy fans that you don't get to the campus very often. Sometimes you just get in the habit of coming, watching a game, taking off. The Heritage Hall is one of the nicer museum Hall of Fame type setups in the Big 12 and around the country. They've done a terrific job, and much of the video you're seeing tonight is available in there. Uh, it's something you'll really want to catch when you come to the OSU campus. Mm. We have a motion Legs. penalty here. Dewan Woods was moving up on the line of scrimmage as the man was put in motion. That was Lindsey coming across. Right, staff. Ball start. Offense. Five yards. We play first down. Well, they got Josh Fields back in the football game along with uh, Sean Woods, Tatum Bell, and they're all back in there. I guess Les Miles wasn't quite done with his group putting going out there and making a statement, and we want to get some more things accomplished here. First and 15 at the 34-yard line. Right up the middle. Tatum Bell, and that's a new career high game for Tatum Bell as Bell bursts right up the middle and goes to the 16-yard line. And now he's approaching that 200-yard mark, Bill, probably 190-plus. Take a look here, a little just downhill run. He reads. Watch the cut back here. He's going to see everyone wash to his right side, and he gets in there behind them. And good job at time breaking tackles and getting extra yardage. Well, he's now got... 199 yards. You got to give it to him again, then, right? Well, I probably will. First and 10 at the 16. Here's Bell looking for a seam. Got it. He'll score. Touchdown, Bell. Tatum Bell in for the score. Touchdown. 215 yards rushing and three scores for Tatum Bell. Well, they bring their big three back in the ball game. Give it to Tatum Bell on the ground a couple of times and see what they can do with it. No problem executing there. Nobody touched him again. Tatum Bell get three touchdowns on the night with uh, very little contact. Point after by Phillips is up and good, and Oklahoma State makes it a 48 to 17 ball game as Bell gets his third touchdown run of the night. 7, 30, and 16, and Bulletin crew come out to celebrate. Over 200 yards rushing for the night. Tatum Bell on this score. Do you think he knows he's up over 200, Bill? Well, if it were right at 200, it'd be one thing. But when he has the two or three runs he had on that drive, I think so. And 
And the Cowboys with a 48 to 17 lead. And let's kick it down to John Radigan, who's fired the cannon tonight. Oh, no, you're not doing the push ups. Oh, I've got more ROTC guys, though. These ROTC fellas do the push up. There's seven of them that hold the board up, and another one does a push up for every point scored. They graciously offered me the opportunity to do the push ups. I said, Are you kidding me? I got no chance of doing 48 push ups, guys. Back to you. Oh. Uh, you pretty good on those 12 ounce curls that you do post game. <laughs> That's called easy lift. That's right. Fun time here at Boone Pickens Stadium on a night that the name change has taken place and the dedication and the groundbreaking before the game and the great contribution by Boone Pickens and Oklahoma State has honored him with a 48 17 lead over Wyoming in the home opener. His offensive Power coordinator Mike Gundy and scoring drive five plays 59 yards. And that's miles I should say there with. A smile on his face I did see a smile didn't I. Oh yeah he's got a little smile on his face he's happy about his team's performance. He is a little disappointed on some of the big plays that his defense has given up there I'm sure. Bo Knight to the 20 and then brought down at the 23 24 yard line and that's where Wyoming will take over as Jamal Ransom Jamal, Jamal, made the tackle that Bo time Knight, for Oklahoma Hunter State brought down by 52 Kareem Smith. well in the series Oklahoma State will go seven and one against Wyoming as assuming they hang on tonight well, I'm really surprised that the uh, Wyoming does not change quarterbacks here. They need to get some reps in there for the number two quarterback, and they're keeping Casey Bramlett in the football game. Yeah, and particularly, I'm particularly, I tell you, Bramlett certainly impressed us with some throws tonight, but I'm as impressed with his toughness as anything, Gary. That uh, this guy's a senior. They've had three straight losing seasons, and they go two and ten last year. You come in, new coach, and this guy, they hit him and hit him often early tonight. And he recovered from what about a 2 for 14 start and just continues to hang in there and, and make plays. And he's got pocket presence. He's able to elude the rush. He feels the rush around him, steps up, and he moves enough to throw the football. And over time, you know, in this new offense, he's going to definitely improve. He's 13 of 31 for 233 yards and two touchdowns and no interceptions. And the swing in this one out goes all the way to the. 40 yard line is Harrison getting in the act again, the freshman out of Kansas City. Chase Holland makes the tackle. Nice little swing here to the tailback. We've got a lead blocker in front of him. He just gets in behind him, cut inside, and just lower your head and boom. Good play. 7.22 and counting remaining in the football game, and it's handed off as Armand. You know, interesting is, is oh, game Harrison, you know, no turnovers, no interceptions, no fumbles. Pretty clean game. Yeah, and isn't that funny? Last week, OSU turns over five times. Um, Wyoming comes in. They got five turnovers. They created five on their side and only turned it over once themselves. And tonight, there's been some close plays on that end, but nothing going that direction. Second and eight at the 42 for Wyoming. And complete. Out of bounds, yeah. Yep. Floyd made the catch, but his uh, body was taking him out of bounds and his Passes foot did not get down in. Intended for 88, Malcolm Floyd rolled out of bounds. Malcolm Floyd, 40 inch vertical jump, fastest right. player on the team, and Third he has nine. certainly shown us some stuff tonight. He's got the tools. Yeah, 6'6. Six, six. We like to see a little more aggressiveness out of him, I think, and really being demonstrative going for the ball. He's, he's made some good plays tonight. There's no doubt about it. I think he has you know, opened up a little bit more to what the coaches would like to see. 33 straight games, he's caught at least one pass. Bramlett fires here and completes it on a third and eight. Comes to McGuffey, That's Ryan McGuffey, a senior from Ryan Riverton, McGuffey. Wyoming, and Good to see him get a ball here late in the ball game. You know, I bumped into his parents this morning, you know, on the way over here to the stadium, McGuffey's parents. And interesting story about him is that uh, 
you know, he's here as a senior, and he, you know, with Joe Glenn coming in here, and talked to his mom and dad, said, well, how do you guys like Joe Glenn? And he says, he's great for the program. And he says, you know what? He says, we have an older son who actually played for him at Northern Colorado. So they've known Joe Glenn for quite some time, and he said they say he is a perfect fit for the Wyoming program. Well, McGuff is a guy that had a concussion problem last year. Here's Harrison breaking it, and he sprints all the way down to the 15-yard line. Number 20, Ivan Harrison, game 16. Ivan Ron Harrison picks up 16 Ranson. before Check Ransom makes 26. the stop. From El Paso, Texas, sophomore out of Andrews High School. The o -State 15. Boy, nice run by Harrison. Yeah, that's a good job there by him jumping outside, breaking a tackle. And He's the speed back back there. I think where Armaugh is more of a, you know, between the tackles type back. Good catching the ball, both of them. They've shown that they can catch the ball out of the backfield, and you have to do that in this offense because they run the slip screens and they, they make that tailback get out and catch passes. First and 10 at the 15 and into the end zone. Another touchdown for Wyoming. Bonite on the reception this time as Javon Bonite. And Wyoming. Certainly showing some resiliency here and makes it 48 23 with 547 to go. Look at the touch there by Bramwood with this ball. Good job throwing it up there and execution. That's a nice play. That might be a little bit of a taunting thing there throwing it back at the cornerback but uh, no penalty thrown but nonetheless a good play here by, by Wyoming and getting the touchdown. It's a nice throw and a nice grab by by Bonite. Up and through. And the, in the kick game. is good from Derry Gassi. And Wyoming Cowboys makes it 48 24. The Pokes have doubled them up here. And Wyoming will kick it off with 547 remaining in the football game. Well, Joe Glenn's shown he's got a little fight in his team, and they're just going to keep going and keep going. No matter who they roll out there, they keep going with their number Those ones. Casey sure Brown at the helm, and you know this is something he can Cowboys take back and he can build on. You know, you're coming into a tough environment to play here at Oklahoma State, showing the success that they've had in recent years. And Casey Brown and company just keep clicking, keep fighting. He and Bonite there, the two sitting on the bench, pick up for a nice touchdown. And next week, they host Kansas. A little bit different level Big 12 team, and they get him in Laramie. And you know what he's building for is that, hey, we may not get this one tonight, but, fellas, we can take something out of this one. At times, they were looking like they were just going to be actually blown out of the building. Well, you know, the thing about Joe going in there and understanding that the, this program, it may not be the, the talent level that he would like to have or, or the, the players that uh, would like to, he'd like to have in his system. He's blending what he's doing with the players that are there now, and he wants to win. There's no reason why he can't win now if he can put some things together and get a little confidence here against the Big 12 school and he go against the Big 12 school next week. He's going to tell his players when they go back, hey, we did well in the second half. We just need to come out with that intensity at the start of the game, perhaps against Kansas next week. Oklahoma State. Timeout, Final Oklahoma timeout. State here. Well, these two, as you mentioned, this is the eighth meeting between the two, and Oklahoma State with a win tonight would go 7-1 and one in the series. It's certainly the most memorable game for Cowboy fans in this part has got to be the Holiday Bowl, where the current Cowboy offensive coordinator, Mike Gundy, threw for 315 yards and two touchdowns. Barry Sanders ran for 222 yards and five scores. And Hartley Dykes caught 10 passes for 163 and a touchdown. 62-14 under then head coach Pat Jones. And it was after that game that Pat found out Barry Sanders is moving on. <laughs> so he's it was bittersweet. Said, I kind of thought I knew the answer to that one before the game started, but that certainly sealed it. What a great season that was for Oklahoma State football. Did you see that left-handed, one-handed catch by Dykes? Oh, wow. And he had both knees racked in his short NFL career. I think he'd have been a standout at that level as well. No fight here. I mean, no, no quit here in this uh, Wyoming football team. Possibly an onside kick as OSU's playing up at the. And they booted deep as. Taken inside the five by Williams and down at the 16 yard line. Durant Williams. Going to look awkward there when Williams tried to stop. He just kind of laid one out from under him, but yeah. popped right back up, which is good. 
Oklahoma Oklahoma State just playing defensive football there, Bill. Assuming that Wyoming might go for the onside kick there, they pulled up forward, and uh, Wyoming just kicks the ball deep. What are the numbers? Last week, 183 versus Nebraska, and tonight they really roll in 566. A little bit different, and that's, uh, you know, definitely, there's no doubt about it, there's an improvement there. Well, in Wyoming, we'll look at it and go, <laughs> last year the team gave up, what, almost 500 yards a game in offense and around 38 points a game. So they make strides, but I think their strides here are the fact that they were being dominated by the OSU defense. And yeah, you're going against sometimes second unit, but the fact that they can continue to come back and move the football, make some plays, and show that they're capable. Oklahoma State, first and 10 from its own 16 yard line. Cowboys on the ground as feeding the ball to Morency. Morency. And he's a sophomore out of Miami, Florida. Last year missed five games, got off to a pretty good start, had the ankle injury, 269 yards rushing, three touchdowns. Offside defense lined up in the neutral zone, five yards, replay, first down. So first and five following the penalty. Reset the game clock. You know, my question is, why do you have your starting quarterback in the game here? You're well in hand of the football game. You know, you need to put your, your younger quarterbacks out there. Les Miles has an opportunity to do that, to get them some reps, whether it's uh, going to be Beagley or you're going to have Donovan Woods come out there and get a first snap. So you've got Josh Fields in the game, and I, I don't really see a point in having him out there unless you're trying to make some kind of a statement against Wyoming, which I don't see any reason to do that. You're well in control of this football game. So really surprising that, that, that he is out there, uh, you know, in this football game still. You certainly risk injury. You know that. Morency on the carry that time. And at the, well, I forget about the injury side. I think you need to put put a younger quarterbacks out there to get a feel for the football game and give them a chance to, to get some reps. It's a whole Second different down. thing going against a team on the field than what you can do in practice. There's no there's no substitution for experience. Bigley with a couple of series, but Fields back in here as the Cowboys up 48-24. Second down and six. Ball on the 20. <laughs> Morency still trying to keep those feet going got just shy of the 25 yard line. Yeah when he watches that on tape he's going to say okay if I'd have stayed straight on path and cut up the field I'd have had the first down but instead he tried to go lateral to the sideline and uh, they stopped him short because they bring up a third and almost two. Burrow and Badgema coming back in as Dewan Woods and Kenny Williams come out for OSU. Trying to keep that clock moving at this point and put the finishing touches on a 48 24 game here with Wyoming. The one and one on the year and gear up for Southwest Missouri State next week. Good hard run. Morency getting his yards now. RNC on the carry. First and ten. Yeah, push the foul. Big guys on big guys. So he's going to win, and Oklahoma State won that one. First and ten at the thirty for OSU. Again, another hard run out to the 35 yard line. Well, Oklahoma State goes one and one after this one tonight. And what's ahead for the Cowboys? Southwest Missouri State here and then at SMU down in Dallas, which uh, is certainly a game that they re recruit so heavily in Texas and particularly in Dallas. That's a it's not a bad road trip at all for Les Miles crew to make. And then UL Lafayette before. Kansas State in the Big 12. Ooh. And we're slated to have that game for you on Fox Sports Net at SMU. The 20th and OSU will probably have as many or more fans as the ponies will there. 
second and four. Flag thrown on the handoff. Whereas the Cowboys have those back to back games at A&M and at Oklahoma two teams that they beat last year and then they host Texas. That's in late October and November. What a stretch. Yeah, that's going to be a tough three weeks. There's no doubt about that for these uh, Oklahoma State uh, defense. Cowboys. First down. In the Big 12 South. Is some division and then. This year, if you're like Oklahoma State, you've got to play Kansas State. Just adds to it. K State, of course, they've already got Nebraska out of the way, but Colorado looking impressive with its second win today. UCLA. 2.33 remaining. First and 10 from the 41 of OSU as Fields and crew try to run it out. Morrency on the pitch. Needs to stay in bounds and does. Flags everywhere there. Might be a face mask. A shoe was lost. Wyoming, of course, would like one more opportunity here. Well, I think the fans here at Oklahoma State came to a football game that they'd like to see their Cowboys get on track, and they certainly did offensively. Talking about Josh Fields, Rashawn Woods, and Tatum Bell. Big night for Tatum Bell up over 200 offense, yards. 10 yards. Replay, first down. The three touchdowns and Deshaun Woods and had an excellent night, eight catches. Josh Fields, I think, got a better feel for the game than I think he had a week ago against Nebraska. Well, they've got 581 yards of offense tonight. Gary, we were looking at that 88 Holiday Bowl. They had 698 that night, so something about Wyoming. <laughs> 15 years apart, maybe, but it brings out the best of the OSU offense. Not to mention that they got to see the unveiling of Moon Pickin Stadium. Oh yeah, great halftime opportunity there. And hope you enjoyed the visit we had with him here to start the second half. Cowboys, they stay in bounds on that as Morrency again toting the football. Jones makes the tackle. Leonard Jones, senior from Denver, and inside two minutes and counting here in Stillwater, Boone Pickin Stadium. Got a good, got a good sound to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. And I'll tell you, when uh, it will be fun to watch the progress. And you look around the Big 12 in Oklahoma State. Their first thing was taking care of the athletic center, Gallagher Ab Arena, and the raising of the roof project that basically doubled the size of that, yet kept the loud crowd and the great ambiance that that building provides. And now they're going to work on a football stadium. This year and the, after the season starts this side of the stadium which is where the, the press box is and our announced position. This is all slated to come right, so down and they expect to have a, a new press box and a, a new announced position for us next year Bill. Uh, all ready for the 2004 season. Three phases here and when it's all said and done it'll be as nice as any. And have its own special touch to it. Certainly that's going to give Les Miles a boost as well when you know that. You can take that out and sell the recruits. The winning certainly is the number one thing, and he provided that in just his second year, going eight and five. In the Houston Bowl victory. Their facilities here are top notch. Taking a look through those yesterday, they uh, they're on on par with anyone in the country. And their football program has certainly turned around here. Les Miles has got this program on track, and I think this is a good win for him tonight. As they start to wind down and get ready for the Big 12, uh, they started last week obviously against Nebraska, but uh, the meat of the Big 12 picture and schedule is still ahead of them. Morrency runs out of bounds. Les Miles, a pat on the hat for Josh Fields and the Cowboys as the offensive unit comes off, and they'll kick it away on fourth down and seven from the 44 as Farden is back to punt. Barge is the deep man for. Wyoming. And takes it in full steam. Barge at the 40, the 50, got one man to beat. And knocked out of bounds. Let's see where they mark it. Boy, Barge just full head of steam. Came right down the sideline. And Wyoming's going to get the football. Well, he was moving here. Line. Catches one down around his knees and just stays on the sideline, walking the tightrope. Richmond tries to knock him out of bounds, but he can't get a hand on. There was a block. Did you see that block? Someone yeah. take him to the ground and then 
your punter is the last one who has a chance and knocks him out of bounds. The man has some speed. 45 yard return in Wyoming, 16 seconds. We'll have a chance to throw a couple toward the end zone. So, Bramlett back on. In trouble, comes out now. Got time to uncork one before he gets hit, and it is complete at the 15 yard line. And it'll stop the clock with five seconds and a chance to try to get off one more play. Call the timeout, Bill. CR Davis on the reception, his first of the night. Well, that's that escape ability we talked about with Casey Brown. It looks like he's doing a He's done a good job of that all night and just moving around and he uh, throws a kind of a wobbler out there, but it's complete and a big play. Joe Glenn and company one more play here with five seconds to go. And Bramlin is now over 300 yards on the night for passing 306 on 17 of 36. Fields went 17 of 30 for 235. Bramlett for three touchdowns and no interceptions. But he was sacked a bunch tonight. And Wyoming 381 yards of total offense to Oklahoma State's 594. And here they go. Let's see what they come up with with five seconds to go. And the Cowboy fans that have stuck around trying to encourage the Orange defense to shut them down on a final play here. Keep them out of the end zone and flags everywhere as Bramlett receives a snap. In the offensive false start there on the right side. Going to back him up five yards. Full-star offense. Five yards. Great play first down. Well, I'd look at number 88 on a white with a white jersey on. That uh, pretty good idea. receiver. I think that uh, he's got got a couple. Got a chance. Toss it up there to him. With, you know, he got a 40-inch vertical jump. Boy, you got to utilize that. At six six. No turnovers in the game tonight. Ball at the 12-yard line, and Bramlett to throw it to the end zone. He does, and it is incomplete. One second remaining. Wow. <laughs> and hit one more play. That took all of four seconds, huh? Interesting. So well, he locked in on his receiver. There's no doubt about it. He locked in on, on Bo Knight and trying to get him on the on the post route. Les Miles said, who's running that clock? Go yeah. ahead and let that other second tick off here, huh? Been a very good night for Oklahoma State overall, though. And Wyoming can at least take some things from here as well. Final play, Bramlett into the end zone, and it is incomplete. Incomplete. And that's the ball game. Oklahoma State 48, Wyoming Cowboys 24 as Les Miles evens up his record at 13 and 13 in the start of his third campaign here. And on the first night at Boone Pickens Stadium, OSU wins its home opener 48 to 24 over Wyoming. After each Josh Fields, 17 to 30 for 235. And a record night for Tatum Bell. A career high 215 yards rushing on just 21 carries and three scores. And Rashawn Woods, eight receptions, 152 yards. Final again, 48-24 OSU. Back to wrap it up in a moment.